Hello. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Session 145. The application of the duck has been perfectly timed. Everyone, everyone, everyone write this down on your mind Hello. calendar. This is the day. Hello. You got me. You, you, that, was, Hi. that was real good. <laughs> I won't deny. That was good. Oh, uh, jeez. Oh, I have been fueled. <laughs> Okay. We need all of your art with Logan with a duck beside of them now. Yeah. Wait. Duck. No, I'm trying to make capybaras and all my stuff a thing. I don't want a stupid it's duck. True. Logan, mm. Logan with his cute duck and capybara. Duckabara. I will, okay, I would be willing to accept a duckling dog. on the head of a capybara. I, that's as far as I'm willing to accept. Oh. But the duckling sounds like an adult duck. Sure. <laughs> Just Howard the duck. Can it sound like whatever the fuck it wants. <laughs> The duck can sound like a capybara for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Nat 19, uh, Campaign 1, The Cauldron, Session 145. It's us! We're here! Did you know this was secretly a mech game? Because this has secretly always been, has always will be, and was always a mech game. Forever. The, the, the signs were there. Points to Sunder. See? Obvious. Them grippers were made for driving mechs. You can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> Yeah, it's sure. true. Yeah, it's true. 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 Mm -hmm. My I goodness. In, I remember in session. There's a reason why he can up. make himself big. <laughs> you guys <laughs> remember in the session zeros for Vestige when I told you about the world and I was like, "What do you guys expect to be doing in this game?" And uh, you all said it's some stuff, some stuff about like uh, fucking ending uh, discrimination and whatnot. And I was just like, mm, "Interesting. No one's saying Max. Strange." Oh yeah. That was the right answer. You all failed. <laughs> Damn it, Bob Bean. It's like when you accidentally called a vestige of a mechmus, okay. Yeah, now. right? All right. That makes right. so much more sense. A mechmus actually sounds like a like a deity's name. It does. Yeah. Or some mm -hmm. Christmas spin-off. Sounds like sounds like a counterpart <laughs> to mechanus. Like yeah. a like, mechmus sounds like Egyptian mechanus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, but it is us. We are here and we are coming back into a pretty climactic game. There's a couple things that we're going to be running in the background today, and I will note that today's game will involve some stress testing for having players piloting DGRs, so today might have some bumps, but this is how we test these things. Testing yeah. by fire. Yeah. Compared to the stress testing. I will be stress testing. <laughs> yeah, the stress Thank testing you. that you do to all of us daily in these <laughs> games. I will note for everybody at home, um, which is most of you, except for those of you that aren't at home, you aren't at home. Uh, the oh. website is, the merch shop is good to go. We also added a news and updates section to it so that uh, you guys can check out things that we're announcing. Ooh. But my, mainly the merch shop is up. It's back. Yeah. Go there. We, we've already shipped a bunch of stuff, haven't we, Hayden? Yep. We have. It's yeah. sitting, waiting to get picked up by the mailman, and, and I'm watching my cameras. And so we're sure out of Ember up. Wing Dave miniatures. We sure are. For those, now. Those are gone. For now. For now, until more are made. Also, I'm going to be adding yeah. some new miniatures to the thing pretty soon. Oh, yeah. So go also, go check out our merch shop if you want keychains, if you want dice made by Hayden, if you want life size DGR, a life sized no. functioning DGR. I don't know if I can keep that in my house. There's only it so much be... space in my room. You have to keep it in your house at that point. Just keep it in your backyard. For also, heckin', then where can Ryuji go? In the DGR. Oh, in my dog. In the front yard. Yeah. That's a that's get the robot for Ryuji. <laughs> the D is for dog. <laughs> My God, we need to get Sunder in there. Vogan, get out! <laughs> dog, in. great, right. rough. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dog, great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so all the, we've really been enjoying seeing all dog, the people who. Dog, good parentheses, boy. <laughs> rough. <Yeah. laughs> Thank you for all the people who uh, commented on the last uh, video of Vestige who listen in but don't get to, you know, watch the streams. Like, Yashua, who's a roofer, you're awesome! And thank you, thank you all for listening. 
uh, on streaming services. Yes, so. you're welcome. I suppose we enjoy you. <laughs> Those of and us who leave, uh, watch audio-wise on lovely, you. Go, yeah. You go ahead. Leave you go a ahead. lovely comment. Yeah. We oh, they just, them? we're leaving, yep. <laughs> My god. Wow. Holy shit, y'all. Just power through me, Brayden. Just power through me. I'm just agreeing with you. Thank you for all the lovely comments and support. We appreciate you. <laughs> we appreciate as much as my friends are joking, we really appreciate when you guys listen to us while you guys are working or when you're doing other stuff. Supporting Vestige any way you can. You're so adorable. Oh, yeah. But yes, thank you for all the lovely comments. <laughs> thank you for all the people that listen to us back on Spotify and Apple Music and whatnot. Um, and we yeah, heck you. And for those we of you, you out there that don't know where to find links, the the website link is nat19show.com. And for those of you that I just realized don't have players to go below to click links. Yeah. <laughs> like so the ones that, that we're talking about that we like. we're talking about right now, yeah. 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 So you can type that in your search engine, whether it be Bing, Google, or <laughs> Bingle Bongle. Why would Bing your first off? Make sure to type the URL <laughs> into your search you engine. You should type in HTTPS colon slash slash www.net19show.com. Friends, I googled how to... Sponsored by Dungeon Juice, freshly squeezed. I typed Google into the search bar, and Google doesn't tell me where it is. Oh. This started as a genuine thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you met True. us? All Brady, things are destined wonderful. to become stupid here, you know that. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, true. it's true. Uh, we exist like a thing that I actually realize I won't say because some people need to watch the good place. Oh. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I All right, did. It was great. Yeah. So let's stress oh test. Let's, let's do stress this test. damn thing. So yeah, uh, go... Um, Check the site, do all the stuff. Thank you for the comments. Uh, last people mm -hmm. seem really hyped about last session. I can't wait to let you down. Um, <laughs> no, uh, shut up. No. Uh, today's got a couple fun little surprises in store, and I'm I'm real excited for it. Yeah. Uh, surprises. Surprises. That's not what we're here for. Buckle up, buttercups. <laughs> and I'm and I'm, I'm doing a couple sneaky things that I might tell you about, and I might just do them behind my little DM screen, and they'll just happen, and you won't know about them, and I'll be like, tee hee, look at my me playing with my little Legos back here. <laughs> little tee hee hee. I can make this man go woo. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> All right. Let's get this party. That was the man that was the man who could go woo. <laughs> mm -mm. Let's okay, get this party started. Uh ba da ba do ba do. So let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. Yeah! It's getting crazy. Let's get this party. Dante yeah. with no fucking pop filter. Let's get this party started. <laughs> 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 Jack <laughs> Why did you just head. <laughs> oh, I hate it. I hate it. Sounds your like your head butting so your mic. That it cut you out. I know. That's why <laughs> yeah. I did. <laughs> I don't have. Oh. I don't have a pop filter on my desk mic because it's angled in such a way I don't normally need it. But sometimes I just too hard. Mm. Okie dokie. Alrighty, ready, 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 ready. Getting my brain in order. Where do we start? I guess. One well, now that we're in. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna change our music a little bit so that we're a little bit more in the. Uh, uh, this one. Yeah. All right. So, last time. Last time on Vestige of Ophiuchus. You guys, to the best of my recollection, uh, unless I'm merging two games in my head, you guys uh, talked to... Did you talk to Colities last time? Or... Yes, you did, right? It was the time before. No, it was the time before. You used a teleportation circle to return... Uh, as you did. No, it was when Excalibur showed up. That was the start of last game. Yes. At the start of last game, the 50 meter tall, which to give another perspective, a hundred and uh, 63 some odd feet tall slash one second. I love breaking out the image. I'm getting it. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Excalibur, where are you? DGR scale Excalibur. The this boy... There he is, ah. there he be. There's a general rem oh, oh, fuck! Stuff falling off my desk! Alright, see, oh, this no. is not going well. The general <laughs> oh, reminder. Oh, Flux. <laughs> Such so a 
Excalibur. It's bigger than most buildings. It's a, a really good uh, scale reference. Is it's <clears throat> roughly the size of. Uh, it's a little bit bigger than an Evangelion unit, which, as far as Mexico, are actually pretty big. Um, Suck it, Ava. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a bit. It's, we win, Ava. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this would stand above. I think it's like what, like. It would be, it would stand above the Leaning Tower of Pisa is one good example of how tall it Holy is. Holy shit, having seen God that damn. in person, fuck! Yeah, these are huge! But would it? It's oh, yeah, 50 meters yeah. tall, it, it is half Italy. the height yeah, of most Godzillas. I did! <laughs> but would it be taller than Leaning Tower of Pisa if it wasn't leaning? <laughs> Listen, mm. I don't know <laughs> if the internet measurements of the Leaning Tower of Pisa are vertical or with the slant, okay? <laughs> so I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I'm not a Pisa expert like some people, but well, Hayden, it, you're the expert. Like, like Hayden, you went to Italy. Yeah, Hayden, Shut Hayden, up. you went to Italy. You're the expert on all things Italy. <laughs> yeah, obviously, I studied coffee in Italy for a day. But yeah. I don't put that part what? on the resume. I didn't know that. That's amazing. <laughs> I know. I never talked about it. You never brought it up. Love that. That's your. I was trapped in a wall you know for five years. Yeah, wall. exactly. <laughs> So, Listen, it gets me jobs. <laughs> as Excalibur, that's fair. Uh, after Excalibur rose up from the sea and darted towards the city, you all decided to do what you could to try to evacuate or to prepare for things. This happened simultaneously as a Sagitta unit, the same one that you had found and released from its underground trappings previously, as it crashed, damaged into the top of the Sun Keep. Uh, the Excalibur unit bearing its knight-like form, giant sword, massive wings, stopped at the edge of the city, pierced its blade into the ground, a wall of light erupted from under the earth around it, and it used a series of high-intensity, uh, not exactly missile pods, but similar to missile pods, bursts of light that acted as missile pods, to destroy two of the old world markers that keep this city safe from the planar despoliation, from the planar effects that are generated in the cauldron. On the topic of Pesodromos and where things are in it, give this a sec to load. <clears throat> oh. Oh. Pesodromos. Pesodromos. Hey. Pesodromos. Hey. So. For the purposes of what's happening, when it attacked the city, it destroyed two of the markers readily. The fox marker, off there, behind Whoa. the sun keep. There's an itty bitty quintesson. And the forest marker. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, you, you want even better? Go look at the sun keep and then zoom in on it. Where's the sun keep? There it is. Oh, oh. my God. <laughs> where, where is it? Oh, oh there it is! <laughs> hey. There they are! <laughs> See, I'm fine. You're all And then fine. go down Wait. towards this yeah, lesser church, fine. zoom in. That's that's where Avi's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm is. fine. Hold on. Hold on. I need to fucking I need to I need to do something with Sunder real quick. Okay. Hold on. Are you gonna right. in yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. and, and what a difference it makes. Yeah. <laughs> As it attacked the city and destroyed two of the markers, it then began turning its uh, attention towards another two of them. It has destroyed the devil marker. Oh, sorry, I also should have mentioned it destroyed the forest marker, which is on the left side. It's going after the devil marker, the northmost one and the Sky Marker, which is the southernmost one. The Sky Marker is partially damaged, uh, but not entirely. The Devil Marker is destroyed. So three of the Old World Markers are gone. They told you that you, the city could survive and would not be at risk of, uh, of um, despoliation as long as there's at least four of them. Around this time, Fenris and Quintus decided to collect information, since the proto-DGRs were something you'd eventually have to uh, either deal with or work around. So with the spell Kurunos uh, I, Kurunos I, I can never remember how to say that particular fucking Sirenos. Greek god. Sirenos, thank I, you. I it's, yeah, I got you. I, I, I had to... <laughs> Wrote the spell, don't I'm like, know the I words. say so many things wrong. I say so many things wrong, that one I made sure to... You got on Praxis with Quinn, you flew towards it. 
missile pods, actual missile pods, lesser ones, began barraging you as you approached. Uh, but you eventually, though invisible and sometimes separated from your Pegasus, got close enough to use it, acquired a wealth of information about its statistics, um, and then tried to retreat. As you did, it gave chase in the city. It came after you. Praxis was destroyed. Fenris almost killed, but was uh, revived by Quintus. Quintus turned, and he bravely stood against it, hoping that Fenris could revive him later if something inevitably bad happened. Uh, as he did this, the DGR unit, which had been repaired, piloted, and had taken off into the sky with Vogan, resurfaced, plummeting down from the clouds. Uh, its body transformed with blue hues to have a vague theme that referenced Orbis Maharaga, the Idolos that became his weapon, uh, generating a massive version of his blade of the Orbis Maharaga longsword. It aimed it towards them. A amplified mechanical laugh came from Vogan and the DGR simultaneously. <laughs> I and I've grazed over the most important part. Fenris did use divine intervention to yeah. wish the DGR uh, 001 Excalibur would be moved elsewhere. As you are in a place where the Eidolans uh, do not have the same power as they do it, though it took, it is taking some time. So it is beginning, the sword that Excalibur carries crumbled into light, and the rest of its body is beginning to flake off into little bits of light and energy. But the process is gradual. It's taking a while. So now we stand, Quintus on the ground, uh, Orbis Maharaga junctioned Sajita, aiming its blade <coughs> up towards Excalibur as it begins to fade away. And that's where we're cutting in. And I'm going to share a thing with you guys, and I hope that it takes, I hope it I'm actually shares generous. properly. <laughs> I would like cool. to pull a Nimric. A oh. gaseous form. Oh. Uh -oh. Number of divisions. Oh. oh! Nobody mess with that, but that is now just going to be a round. Okay. okay. As it stands, like as the DGR unit Excalibur piloted by, you don't know exactly what member or if it is a specific member, of the family, looks down towards its adversary in front of it. I want to know, on the other side of the city, you guys would have, you guys wouldn't <laughs> see what's going on with uh, Quintus or Fenris necessarily, but you definitely would be able to, from where you are, see what's going on with Excalibur, that it's flaking away, that orchestral music from Tequin bathed the city briefly. Uh, you would have a general idea of what's going on. What would you guys back there like to do, if anything? You know what? You, you Fenr fucking Sid drew this for us. I don't. I guess I'm gonna. I'm just gonna. Here you go. You got a little lookout. <gasps> no. What? What? Oh, ah. did Sid make this map. Yes. Sid, <gasps> in a in a week and a day, made this map. <laughs> Holy oh, shit! So oh, good. Yeah. Well yeah. Done. So talented. Sid's so good. And made the thumbnail in the same week. So. Oh, damn. Yeah, Sid's oh, amazing. Sid. We love you, Sid. We love you, Sid. Mm -hmm. I made it as easy on them as I could, obviously. I gave them as much reference material, and I planned out, like, the city, mm -hmm. like, the way, it, where everything was and whatnot, but then what I did is nothing compared to the effort they put in. They really went above oh. and beyond and quickly. So, we now have a map of Pezodromos, which I, I think so is, powerful. I think it's pretty neat. I think it should be much easier to visualize where everything <laughs> in the city is, and hopefully yeah. this helps to visualize what I mean when I keep bringing up the markers and how they're massive obelisks. Yeah. Hopefully this gives a better visual for what those are and where they are. I really hope this place doesn't blow up. Yeah, uh, I was gonna say, it sucks <laughs> it. By the way, on a, <laughs> on a general note, the, whenever you guys went to that abandoned house, uh, that would have been down near the lion marker. That that house would have been, like, like down there. Ah. Gotcha. Yeah, just okay. as a... It's not, like, on, on the map, but it would have been down there. All right, so guys back on the top. Is there anything you guys would like to do as you see this unfolding in the city? What a good question. Um, the mm. markers that were destroyed were, we had the partially destroyed one to the south, devil's gone, box is gone. What was the other one that was gone? Let me see if I can, um, I'll just throw, probably gonna have to zoom in and make this big. I make okay. I'm, I'm, I was like, I'm making it bigger, but it's not getting bigger. There we go. What this one's destroyed. Oh. Uh. Yeah. This one's destroyed. Oh no. 
and this one's destroyed. And I'm not going to cover the whole thing, but just to show you, this one down here is damaged. Skylark. <coughs> they all, uh, each one of the names corresponds to one of the Eidolons, if that wasn't clear. What? Why? Crazy. Ridiculous. I'm going to go keep one of these markers safe. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll come with you. Turn you up a bit, Carrie. And by that, I don't oh, mean sorry. turn yourself up. I mean I'm gonna no, turn I'm you up. No, I'm not touching anything. Okay. I'm not doing it. Yep. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a clarification. I'm just giving you. I'm gonna turn you up. <gasps> Crank my volume. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, if Lex is joining me, I'll grab them. I'm going to dimension mm -hmm. door to the profit marker. Cool. The question is, mm -hmm. can you? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Are you willing to use uh, multiple dimensions? Oh, they're going doors. to the profit, which would be this one. You're right. Sorry. Yes. Does this give an interesting like layer of scale to this? That is like mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. enough. Now, a weird question: Do you want to get like onto it, or do you want to get beside it? <clears throat> um, I probably get down a lot. As long as I can be near it, it doesn't really matter. So, rather than put us up top where we can possibly get thrown off, the seems. Mm. Seems more prudent to just be at the base. All right, so Miriam okay. grabs Lexi. You both vanish in a uh, wisp of light and smoke. You both disappear and reappear on the ground in front of the marker. Your elevation will change because you were previously 200 feet up because of the cliff and the sky marker and uh, the sun keep. So you guys will now be on the ground level. You are, just for people at home, you are now here. Is there anything that you want to do in particular to watch out for or prepare um, for the uh, any attacks coming? Mm. Uh, hey, if I see a missile barrage targeting this marker, I'm going to use a wall of force and just make a 100 foot, 10 foot wide straight line up vertically next uh, between it. Okay. Well, Lexi, is there anything you want to do to I'm to going that? to protect Miriam. <laughs> this is doing a lot of shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. <clears throat> gotcha, gotcha. Flux and Sunder. Is there anything in particular you guys want to do? I'm not totally sure. Like, I can't protect a marker quite as effectively. Like, I don't yeah. have a wall of force. Mm -hmm. But I should try and do something. So I guess I'll try and fly down toward the twin marker, which might take me a bit, but... Yes. What is uh, assuming that you are dashing and moving, uh, and are you expeditious retreating? Um, do I have spell slots for that? I probably do. You guys like yeah, rested before all this. Yeah, we're all we're all pretty juiced right now. Yeah, yeah we're real juiced. Tell you. Because <laughs> the distance you have to travel to get there is 685 feet. So, what is the distance you can travel in a full turn? Uh, let's see. If I was. So it'd be like 90 feet if I was expeditious retreating? Yeah, because it'd be dash, uh, fly dash, uh, normal movement dash, and then expeditious retreat bonus action dash. So that sounds about right. So you'd be looking at what? Seven turns? Oof. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Hopefully I will, I guess, try and I guess maybe hold some actions to try and maybe like shoot a missile out of the air if it gets within like my firing range. Okay, we'll, we'll treat your movement a little bit abstractly for the purposes of getting there. Um, so you're going to, just to be clear, are you gonna expeditious retreat though? Are you gonna commit to that? Yes, yeah, I'm gonna increase my speed a little bit. Where is that? Am I on the combat tracker? <coughs> uh, ah. 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 Hey, disconnected. No! No! Yeah, that laptop no. crashed. No, Hayden! No. Heck! You're supposed to be protecting the Nephilim. Well, oh. I guess they're not protected now. <laughs> oh, well, fuck, darn. they're all dead. Okay. So, with you heading that way, um, tell you what, we'll now have you make some rolls on your turn just to kind of abstractly determine <laughs> how far you move so that we maybe get you keep you a bit more involved. Sure. You've been so good this whole morning. Don't talk now to them. Don't talk to them. What are you doing? <laughs> 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 Just 
stupid crackhead. Go away. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Perfect timing, Hayden. Yeah. So you take off, and that leaves me with the question of, is Sunder going to do... Everyone just... Uh. <laughs> But he's like looking out and uh, Miriam and Lexi vanish. Flux just rockets off to the side and Sunder just looks down, has a brief moment where he puts his hands up as if he's about to take off running, looks down at how high he is up, then looks into the distance and is like, yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Um, oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> there's not a lot he can do. <laughs> um, I get a uh, uh, if there's anybody around, I guess he'll help them evacuate the or something. To them I don't be, yeah, like, know Avi that he can get to the off of the sun keep because it, there's uh, no stairs. You, you gotta oh, fly. No. <laughs> How far is the drop? <laughs> no, uh, about a hundred feet. <laughs> yeah, no, that's. I don't think he would do that. <laughs> I don't think he'd drop a hundred feet if it pleases Even the court. Could... <laughs> Sunder will stop take stock of the situation, then come to the intelligent decision of taking out one of his javelins, holding it, like putting his <laughs> thumb up to aim it at the distant DGR, and he just sort of waits with his javelin yeah. at the ready. <laughs> oh. Okay, I what he'll do. I want this to be the final blow. <laughs> no, I, I need I it. If there's any that. missiles that come his way, uh, just for fucking flavor, he'll like runic shield it. Gotcha. Like. <laughs> All right. Oh, poor boy. <laughs> for the purposes doing of, his best. we're going to be skipping a lot of turns, but for the purposes of what we're doing, with that then, I would like everybody to please roll me initiative, now that I know what everybody outside the general combat area is doing. Huh. I mean, it's the same combat. Do you think we can keep the same initiative we had last time? I erased them all. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Tell me why. <laughs> no. I mean, having, it's all right. <laughs> having advantage oh, on Lexi. initiative is probably the hottest thing ever in D and D. It's true. Oh. oh I've got I my just initiative remembered I had it again, okay. and I'm like, hmm. Yes. Uh, delicious. your initiative locks to the either yours or the DGRs locks to each other. So, okay. Uh, you need to roll the. Uh, what did you just roll, and did you get one? No, I, I tried to roll as Vogan uh, on his sheet, and it, and it just wasn't didn't. letting me. Yeah, it just it just keeps saying Vogan currently has their initiative overridden. Okay, I'm gonna hit. Bam! Try it now. Uh, there we go. Yeah! Whoa! <laughs> oh my nice. god! Makes sense. Makes sense. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm All right, gonna do that. I'm gonna hit the button back on. It will move his initiative. Makes sense. Go kill it. Do yeah. it. So you're the DGR <laughs> mm -hmm. 20. I'm not afraid. Going down, making sure everyone has it. Not afraid. Not afraid. To throw a building. It was from Hell's Look, I was Dromos. being very courageous I when I thought I didn't have backup. Now that I have backup, I want to leave. That doesn't work at all. <laughs> nope. <laughs> no part of that work. Okay. So... Going back to you, Vogan, in the moments before combat properly begins, the massive wings of this thing spread out, and it puts its hands up in an almost... You know that pose Frieza is so commonly associated with, like the palms mm -hmm. out to the sides? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It effectively gets into mm -hmm. that, but with its wings stretched out into a way to make it look like this... Uh, give it this almost reverential, magnanimous, angelic appearance as it floats slightly up, its body lined with this greenish tinge as bits of gold energy flake off of it. You hear coming from the unit, uh, very briefly, though you haven't heard it, well, you haven't been around it, but those of you that are there, Quintus and, um, Quintus and Fenris, you hadn't heard its pilot speak, but you hear a very brief, <laughs> interesting. Your DGR unit managed to transform! How did you manage that? Does that voice sound familiar? Not to you. Okay. <clears throat> uh... <laughs> uh, we wouldn't never, you like to know? Never, Got him. <laughs> <laughs> Last I saw that unit, I had reduced it almost entirely to scrap. And yet there it is. Standing, empowered, renewed. 
pretty cool. I'll extract their information on how to do that. After I rip you out of it, Vogan! What the fuck? You know my name. I don't know your name. Tell me your name. <laughs> you hear a distorted chuckle that seems to become more robotic as if the uh, amplification effect deepens and distorts it as it reels back. And I'm going to roll initiative at this point because I want to... I didn't want to know where it went before I started talking and now I do want to know where it goes. Where do you go, boy? Oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. Let's go. It also fell out. thunder. <laughs> that was not the time. All right. So, just to be clear, because we're between terms, uh, turns, I want you to remember that if you have reactions to use, you can use your features through the DGR. Um, it can mm -hmm. use any reaction on its sheet with its reaction, or you can have it use any reaction you have through it using your reaction. So, like, if I wanted to use, like, exemplary deflection, yes. I could with and Bogan's reaction? Yes, but it can't use it with its. Okay, yes. Yeah. Cool. Similarly, when we get to it, when we get to your turn, it can take the actions on its sheet on its turn, and then on your turn, you can take any actions you have through it on your turn. And I want you to remember when you take those actions as well that your damage has extra damage dice and whatnot because of the size difference. Mm -hmm. Attack, uh, attacks and whatnot, because of Fantasy Grounds, I managed to automate most of them, so like the bonuses and differences between the two of you, they're automated, they're happening. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just gonna check to make sure I have those on you. Yes. For example, your ranged attacks and, uh, uh, your ranged attacks and the damage from them get a plus four because it has a better dex than you. Your, cool. uh, let's see. And I also <clears throat> added stuff to it so that, um, your saves all even out as they're supposed to. With gotcha. that, it's definitely going to be going first. No. You know, I love having this map, but the main reason <laughs> I had it made is because I was like, we need a battle map for this fight, and I think it's just got to be the city. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. No. All righty. The DGR does not have its sword. That has been deprived of it, so it cannot use that. It's going to punch me. <laughs> it is going to have to... Ow. It does begin to move. It suddenly takes on a lower stance and it shifts towards you. As it does, you feel the air around you distort and move. Vogan, you are currently suspended in the middle of a visual simulation inside this thing to give you an idea. Like you see these, uh, this globe of lines and like screens popping up around you, but for the most part, you can effectively see through the DGR and you see things outside uh, as if you were on the scale of the DGR. Piloting it feels natural. It is like moving your own body. Um, using its speed and movement, understanding its abilities, that seems to all come to you innately in the same way that using Orbis is innately something you understand. The two seem to be bridging, and how to pilot this thing is just part of you. You just get it. Sick. As this thing comes towards you, <clears throat> it is going to raise up one of its massive fists, which are individually the size of the DGR unit, and it strikes towards you. As it does, as it moves through the air, you hear the distortion, you hear this vacuous <laughs> as its hand moves slowly, but at intense speeds towards you. Uh, just to be curious, is there anything you want to do in response to the attack coming at you, or are you just gonna take these? Uh, I, I can use exemplary deflection uh, when it hits me, so... Okay. Uh, yeah. So then it is going to make three attacks. Uh, does it have any... Spe does the DGR have any special reactions? I can't can, find any. Uh, under reactions? No. It, this one doesn't have any reactions. Okay, cool. Alright. It comes towards you, it strikes, and... That one misses! Wow. As it moves towards you, as it punches in towards you, you shift off to the side very nimbly, avoiding it as it punches the ground. Quintus, off behind it, a shockwave passes by you, almost <laughs> knocking you over as the, si the street is ripped up as it misses. As this happens, the other hand comes up, open palm, and tries to strike you, Vogan. So that's going to come towards you, and... That's a hit. I'll deflection this one. Alrighty, so go ahead and uh, 
do that, and I'm going to go half damage, right? Mm-hmm. As it strikes, it hits. Quintus, in case there was any uncertainty from the talking, you see this DGR very nimbly reproducing moves that Vogan normally uses as it brings up its blade and broadsides this move. hand coming at it. <laughs> as this massive fist larger than it hits it, he somehow manages to tilt the blade, which, in this moment, the lightning blade expands out to be massive, large enough that it can get enough momentum to leverage the fist kind of off of it, redirecting it upwards. You take 11 <laughs> damage reduced from 23. Whew. God, <laughs> Vogan is so cool. <laughs> it's true. This boy is then going. Why am I still here? <laughs> Why am I too afraid to move? <laughs> As it's like, this get happens, out of here. as it strikes <laughs> you, it pulls fingers. back its hand and electricity crackles along its arm from the blade it just struck. It is then going to, you see all the yellow lights on its body begin to light up as a shield similar to the one you saw on the other DGR unit appears that is yellow for a moment, turns blue. You see the electricity that had been left on its arm is almost snapped off of it as it is going oh. to give itself a little bit of resistance. Oh, oh no, come on. <laughs> hey, Ouch. there you go. Know. As it does this, Ouch. it is going to fire, uh, fire its missile pods. It is going to choose two targets. And for the sake of the fun that we're having, uh, one of them, one of the targets is going to be the sky marker. You see uh, shots of smoke come from various uh, uh, indentations on its body as missiles launch out of it, soar away from you. They fly off into the distance towards the sky marker. I'm going to roll two attacks for it. One and two. Uh, as they fly towards the sky marker, those ones do hit. You see the sky marker at the bottom of the city. Uh, you see it distantly get struck and the top half of the obelisk cracks, explodes, and falls away. Mariam! A barrage of missiles uh, are coming towards you. You see them rocketing across the city. They're not the same bursts of light you saw before. They appear to be mechanical missiles, which is not something you would recognize necessarily, <laughs> but there's something- some form of projectile. A macross spam of smoke trails with fire on the end are flying towards the profit marker. Would you like to do what you had set to do? Yes, I will create my wall, of course. Okay. Uh, I would like you to please, because these things approach from slightly different angles, I would like you to please roll me a spellcasting ability check to see uh, how many of these, if not, if perhaps all, you manage to stop. Roger, Dodger. It's an ability check, so yep. do I have my jack of all trades? One second, that's not an effect on me right now. So I think I have an extension plus. that just factors that in. Ah! Unless I forgot to turn it on. No. That doesn't account for it, so you should have a... It should be uh, rounds down, so two higher currently. Works for me. Uh, as you do so, uh, you create a wall of force in front of it. Uh, the missiles intersect with it. As they appear, you briefly are like building the blocks of the wall as they appear, and you manage to orient them in just such a way that you manage to stop each of the missiles that comes towards this thing, it is not hit. Hell yeah, boy. Woo. Vogan. I would like you to roll me a d6. You got it. A five. Cool. Great. I don't know if you're keeping the Excalibur countdown marker up. Please do yeah, for your own sake. <laughs> but, uh, bam. With that, with that, I'm just going to quickly run down my list of stuff here real quick. Run down my list of stuff. Just make sure I'm going to run down my, make sure I'm doing all the things I'm supposed to do whenever I do the things, because there's a lot of things on this sheet, because it's a big man and do a lot of things. Mm-hmm. Makes yeah. sense. That's its stuff. Okay, so, turn order. A lot of these are going to be skips or progressive movement. Uh, Sunder is... Uh, Occupied. He's, he's ready. <laughs> he's going to throw a javelin. 
Fucking, he's gonna Lance of Longinus this thing at the end of the fight <laughs> to the moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flux. I believe in him. I, th I think I'm just flying, right? Con continue your movement. Yeah, I think so. Roll me a... Uh, roll me an athletics check. Oof. Let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Could it be anything but that? Right. Because uh, I'm not great at that. But let's see. You know what? Flash a genius. I'm not uh, proficient <laughs> with that. Let's use it. Gotcha. Uh, where is Flash? There he is. The boopy. And... So what I'm going to do there, just for fun, is I'm going to say that that amount, you're going to get that many extra feet on your movement. So if you're expeditious retreating and moving, we're going to say we get you a hundred and... Round it out, 115 feet of movement. Yeah. You take off, you continue moving down towards it. As you fly, you see the other barrage of missiles uh, in the distance striking with this distant, dull popping sound as the sky marker is reduced to uh, half its stature and no longer working. As it does, you feel a distortion in the air. You feel this shimmer as flux. You detect the otherwise almost imperceptible change in the... Uh, the magical effects that uh, protect Pesodromos, you feel them weakening. You feel the air change, as if it becomes heavier. Oh, we cannot allow any more of these to fall. With that, I think the music is going to be very kind to this. Orbis! Orbis' turn. Vogan, you can choose which of you goes first, so it can be either of you, but it is you and your DGR's turn. What are you oh. going to do? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, uh, so the DGR can make its own, like, on its turn, it can use, like, its DGR blade or whatever yeah. thing it wants, right? And then on my turn, I'm still directing it, but you're directing, it can use you, my attack? It can recreate any of your weapons because you're junctioning. It can recreate your weapons, your items, uh, your abilities mm -hmm. and effects and whatnot. Uh, anything that is mm -hmm. like a passive thing that adds on to something, like a smite, for example, you can apply to its stuff on its turn, but it can only okay. produce your weapons and equipment on your turn. Gotcha. So, it, okay. It uses its own things on its turn, then. Yes. Cool. Uh, great. Then, I, uh, is, you know, uh, I think the name of the game is Stall. Um, <laughs> get rid of those, get rid of those fucking missiles. <laughs> yeah. Can, can we make, can I make a directed attack at its, like, missiles? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'll tell uh, you how it goes. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're both, we're, we're going to try and, uh, just try and disable the, uh, the missile launchers. Okay. Uh, on on this thing. So there's several batteries in various places. The places you've noted they come out of are the shoulder plates, each slide aside partially, and there's a missile battery there. And on the, like, mm -hmm. top of the thighs, that section that looks like it separates, those also open to fire a missile battery. So effectively, there are four sources for these. Roll gotcha. me, for the sake of this, roll me a perception check to see if you've noticed something. Okay. Perception. That's a 13. 13. You have noticed that they alternate. Each time they fire a set of them, mm -hmm. uh, it will use its lower uh, missile batteries, and then next time its upper ones. You come to the conclusion fairly readily, it does need to reload them, so it it uh, sorts mm -hmm. them out. Gotcha. Then, which one fired uh, just Shoulders. before? Shoulders? We'll go for the thigh ones, then. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we'll uh, go for the left thigh then, I guess. Okay. For, for right Your now. range for attacks with the DGR unit for Open the blade the are 10 feet. Oh. So mm -hmm. You dog. I'm going to target it you using... Dog. In DGR, I need you to stop targeting it so I can see what it's doing. <laughs> so the pointer is a bit inaccurate because it doesn't know how to handle size on the scale properly. So basically... Mm -hmm cut 40 feet off that at any time. So, um, so you're 15 feet away. So if you do you this, you're within range. Okay, cool. Then 
yeah, we're gonna just uh, we'll start with a DGR for it. Uh, we'll start with a DGR, and they'll make some uh, blade attacks. All right, DGR blade. Yes. That's a twenty-two. This is great. I'm very happy this played. As you rush towards <laughs> it, that is a hit. Hooray! Uh, am I able to use my Vogan's actions, or do I have to wait until my turn? You have to, to wait that? till your turn. When it gets to your turns, you can okay. choose which turn to do first. You've chosen the DGR this time. But, gotcha. yeah, so, DGR Blade, uh, go ahead and roll damage. If you want to add anything to it, like, you can put grit and whatnot on these. Uh, oh, that's, yeah, that's kind of what I meant. I was going to try and add, like, yes. grit or scorpion mark. Yes. Cool. Uh, I will add both of those. Um, because <laughs> why not? Uh, so, we just gotta make sure that was put on the right person. Because it's technically on both. Oh, of did you. I accidentally? No, I'm just checking. I'm oh, just yeah. making sure we're doing this right. Okay. <clears throat> Where is. Did I need to apply the effect to. Yes, there? I'm going to put your Vogan Mark effect. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put that on the DGR as well. There you go. Great. Also, whoever uh, threw this into our okay. chat during the week, thank you so much for showing me this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, through the effect on him as well. Uh, and then I will put... Oh, that's it. Uh, hmm. uh, how do I put the grit effect onto the DGR? Uh, if you should be able to just like drag the effect from your sheet onto it. Okay. Well, it... Uh, oh, we've got pretty... We've got similar strength, so it's not going to yep. matter too much. Great. Uh, uh, yeah, your strengths, I believe, are basically equal. They're the same modifier. Yeah. yeah. I am slightly stronger than the, than the DGR. Yes, you though. are. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> However, because it benefits from your magic items, technically right now it's exactly the same. That's true. <laughs> That's true. All right. Uh... Great. Uh, now I damage. Now you I damage. I go, hi y'all. And this attack Ugh. is with... Oh. Oh. Blissful Ignorance, uh, what are you doing? I just got an error. Just give me one sec. Oh, okay. That thing just decided it wanted to... What are you doing? We're working out the kinks here. Mm-hmm. The the big do. new thing, so it makes sense. Damage. Hopefully that doesn't keep popping up. Uh, I don't know if that applied to it. I'll pop yeah. it back on. I checked if it's targeting it, and it is. It is. But... Blissful ignorance, oh. action damage, being attempted, active target. Hmm. Why are you? What if I turn that off? Uh -huh. Nope, still there. What if I... What if I turn this off? No? Hold on. I'm gonna roll I'm gonna roll a bit of damage against someone else. Okay. And see if it takes, no, no, and if it no, doesn't, no, 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 no. we Do might me. have to... <laughs> uh, I'm huh. going to... What I'll do... Yeah, get Alviana. <laughs> I think one of the extensions might have gone wonky over the week. As they tend to do. As they tend to do. It's true. It happens. I'm just gonna do this, 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 and then put that back onto. Still doing that. Okay, so what we're gonna do? I'm sorry to do this. I don't think we need the blissful ignorance extension for like anything today. Okay. I think it's on you, right? Re restart the session. Yeah, I might just turn it off and then figure this out later. What does the extension do? Uh, it adds a bunch of extra interactivity to, like, how things can resist things and bypass. Like, mm. when we have effects that bypass damage resistances, that's, uh, mm, that's yeah. from it. Okay, fair. Let's see. I'm just seeing if there's anything I can disable before we go on. Everyone check off your bingo cards. Technical difficulties. I already I forgot to bring up bingo. <laughs> exploded. If I turn this off, that won't come up anyway, so if I turn that off. No. Scorpion mark. 
Automatic shield resists. If I turn that off. <laughs> I'm just going through things. Yeah. If I take this and I throw it on to Sunder. Sorry, Sunder. Oh, it hits him, which means it's something about you. Oh, no. You're immortal. I don't know. Oh. I guess I'm immortal. If I get rid of this. No, it's something about him. If I take Sunder. If I go on to Sunder <laughs> and if I throw damage from Sunder onto him. Does, they, does it still proc? It does. Yeah, I'm just going to turn that off. So we're just going to leave Fantasy Grounds real quick. Technical difficulties. Hey. Sorry, everybody at home. It is the way it be. It be how it be. Turn off. Welcome to Nat 19. Bye. There's a neat extension you can get in uh, Foundry. It's called Find the Culprit, where if you have something going wrong in your game and you think it's one of your extensions, it'll like disable half of your extensions uh, and just go through the list of like, is the problem still there? Oh, that's neat. Like no or yes. It's like, it'll just go down the list until you find it. It's really helpful Sweet. if you have like fucking a ridiculous amount of extensions. Where are you, Blissful Ignorance? There you are. I'll, I'll do some stress testing on my own between sessions to figure out exactly where this problem's coming from. Mm-hmm. Neat song. This? Yeah, this is just one of the many Sonic Frontiers, like, big wandering boss monster songs. They're all really good. They all yeah. have that, that nice bassy dubstepy sound that's really good for this kind of thing. Yeah, no, it's good for good for giant robots. Yep, I have a whole bunch of, like, vocal songs on here and basically a whole bunch of these and a bunch of Girl in the Gone. And if I had okay. time, I was going to throw a bunch of Evangelion music on here just to kind of scare anyone who recognized it, but I didn't find time. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> just because we're restarting. A couple comments were like, what's the Crystal Queen going to do if they get one of these and roll up in this? And then just, oh, are you assuming the Crystal Queen doesn't have her own the mech? The Crystal Cream? <laughs> the Crystal Cream. <laughs> the Crystal Queen does not have her own mech? <laughs> the Crystal Cream. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a Dairy Queen. I was flavor. about to say. Hell <laughs> yeah. In, in, uh, in Servanoi. Yeah. Uh, crystal. Well, now I'm, I'm saying crystal it slow every time. Cream. The Crystal Queen now just like <laughs> creates a giant ice mech. <laughs> With like Love visible it. bloody veins running through the ice. Covered in jewels. That was metal. Yeah. I can hear I can hear you writing up a commission <laughs> doc. Well, uh -huh. right now. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you can hear it in your head. Oh fuck Logan, why'd you have to say a thing would be cool? Now we've gotta deal with yeah. it later. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. We're gonna die. <sighs> she wasn't scary huh. enough. Okay, I'm going to re-roll that attack. I've reopened it. Uh don't don't join just yet. Okay. Repeat. Don't 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 join. Yeah. I'm gonna turn no, up your it. volume real quick Wiki, so I can Wiki, hear Wiki, it calm clearly. Down. <laughs> don't join. <laughs> yeah. Anna joins. You're like, wait. <laughs> Anna, <laughs> Anna, how? <laughs> what? I'm going to throw its effect back on it. I'm gonna throw this hole. So I remove this. This is great. Test music. Yeah. It's very, very intense uh, technical difficulty yep. music. <laughs> yeah. Your call is important to us. <laughs> Your call please is let important us put to you us. On hold. Please, please wait on the line while we process you to a representative. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. I would have been so much happier if this was the music that it played every time I had to call customer service last week. Hell right. yeah, bitch. Incredible. Okay. This is also Sonic Frontiers. Yep. Oh Damn. my god. Oh yeah. That's amazing. This is, 
They Goes have hard. great. They have great music. It's a fucking wonderful game. <laughs> Hell yeah. Uh, actually, like generally, this this is exactly appropriate for a fight like this. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Pulney was playing during the fight. <laughs> uh, yes, I should also... Is magic not popping up on your thing? Oh, it is magic. You can just jam out people at home. That's, that's the goal here. Fucking bopping my head, man. Yeah. Doing there. a head bop. There, okay, that. Trust my gut. The same gut that shit my pants last month? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay, resisted, but not immune. I good. have heard that before, but it's so good. <laughs> so <laughs> good. Okay, everybody sign back in. Only uh, a fool trusts a heart. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. The same get the shit my pants. <laughs> I think not. Because I love this song, I'm just gonna rewind this and have it ready to just restart. Oh, definitely. Let's go. In. Hooray! Good. Anybody who's tuning in I for the first a... time, because there's always somebody. Welcome to Nat 19, where we do play a lot of D and D, but sometimes, sometimes our table doesn't work. And then we have to. I have the, everyone uh, everyone has to scoot out audience. and stand up and get away from the table, and we have to bring in a table technician to come in with a little hammer and knock on the sides of the table and be like, "Oh, there it is." Got some willow. But we love our table. We're we're affiliated with our table. We are. Like, you, <laughs> yeah. You you turned our table into David from Cyberpunk Edge Runners, where he's <laughs> jacked up with fucking. It's too much. Our table mechanic We're going comes to kill in. Him. They're like, it's very strange. Your table is like, there's no bottom. I can't move it. It's the legs go into the cabin, and I I can't find any <laughs> seams. Is this <laughs> entire home the table? Yeah. <laughs> I recently yeah. added all of the instrumental <laughs> versions to uh, the Sonic Frontier music into into some some RP playlists as well. <laughs> nice. nice, nice, very nice. Connect you, you jerk! Come on. No, wrong, wrong character. Tiger Chi. Wrong character. <laughs> <Yeah>. <gasps> oh my God, you're <laughs> He'll save us. The, the Abe He's Simpson the meme of walks into Pezzodromo, <laughs> sees amazing. that, does a little spin, walks out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nope. <laughs> nope. Bye, Aviana. Bye, Aviana. <laughs> oh. Bye. <laughs> I came back because I sensed target. Nope. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone was just going to nope out of a fight out of sheer yeah. mm -mm, in his mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Absolutely, Nemric. In the beginning sure. of this game, I said, uh, I said as Quinn, I'd like to Nemric. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Nemric is like just now getting to like the tower to leave, looking into the distance, despite being no. miles away, sees this, and he's just like, they're somehow involved in that. That's them, isn't <laughs> it? Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. I love how that's everyone's reaction to like big bombastic shit. It's like, it's the highest it's standard the highest is over standard. there, isn't it? <laughs> Why is it always them? So They're looking at thing. us, aren't they? Just the whole highest standard at the table, <laughs> smiling at the person. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. So, slightly, slightly funny thing. Um,. You know that button that you can hit on your character sheet and it brings, it uh, brings you up the map to that you're the on? fucking silent place. I just used yours to yeah. try to go there, too. <laughs> <laughs> Vogan is actually secretly still back in the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm just Hilarious. hanging out with Valter Nitrum. <laughs> we really bonded mm -hmm. over our duel, I think. Doing, Ooh, little, Vogan? doing little punches and stuff in the air. And he's like, what are you doing? Controlling it. Really far away. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Because you know, like, nope, right? I'm not gonna be there. I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> crazy. Before it came, Wait. before the came before down the DJR came the down. Yeah. yeah. Before the DJR came down, Vogan's like, just get me away from there first. Yeah. Like, I don't want to be. Hit the eject button. All right. I want to hit. I hang out with my pal. <laughs> Holy shit! Is that Fenris and Quintus? What? Fuck. Oh yeah. <laughs> but, oh, you no, just noticed them? Just being being... Tiny... Yeah, that's the. <laughs> no, 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 no. Just oh, Vogan I see. being sorry, like, because he was. 
because he wasn't oh, there for all of them. <laughs> like he knew I was going over there, but oh, you know I see. What I mean. <laughs> Wait, is that Quintus and Fenris? Fucking idiots! <laughs> I want to yeah. Here. <laughs> yeah. Did Fenris just turn into a fart? I guess the other guys. <laughs> huh. I guess the others are dumb too, and they stayed with the. Wait, they went off on their own. <laughs> No! <laughs> I did the thing I always do. I There's other people with me. Fucking missiles fire towards one of the markers. He's like, that's terrible. At least no one's there to get. Fucking image zooms in on Mary in front of the pillar. No, why? <laughs> Vogue and all my friends are trying to kill themselves. <laughs> all right, wait. My party's everybody. just trying to kill itself. That's wait, fine. Waiting on everybody to get back in. Waiting for uh, an Aaron, I think. I was stuck in an attempting to resolve connection. Trying yeah, to mine Aaron. too. Right. I, I'm yeah. also you stuck on attempting resolve them? connection, so I'm then gonna max out of it and then try again. Have you turned it off and on again? Nah. I'm gonna. Hey, You're doing that hey, now. Hey, 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 hey. I had, I actually had that on my end too for the player side, and then I it worked mm. when I just turned it off and on. <gasps> Acquiring file list. There you oh go. You're God. getting in. It's doing it. I'm gonna. Really well, you guys doing. connect in. I'm gonna turn on the music again, uh, and we can probably continue with uh, <clears throat> Spence here. Cool. Yes. Well, I thought they're so involved. <laughs> All right. So you're going after one of them. You deal. Uh, I rolled it for you. Do you want to keep this 32 I rolled for you? I do. Okay. <laughs> that was huh. Ten higher than what I got before. <laughs> Let's see. Make sure that's all on. <clears throat> Yes. Oh, can you send me the DGR sheet again? Yes. Yeah. You strike it. Um, it does can seem... Can I save this somewhere? What? Can I save the sheet somewhere? Like, on my cohort I think tab you, or something? I think you can if you pull it onto there. Sick. Perfect. Great. That'll only work for this instance of it, but for the purposes of what we're doing, uh, it should be fine. <laughs> Uh, I will note, your attacks aren't idolic, so as you strike it, you do deal ah. half damage to it. Okay. However, yeah. you're bypassing the size issue, so it kind of all <laughs> sort of evens out. It all know? works out, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure, do you have... Yes. <clears throat> Luckily, you come in just above its damage threshold. When you when I told you its resistance is immunities and whatnot, did I mention its damage threshold? Because I feel like that's part of it. So, okay, in case I didn't, also, if the uh, final amount of damage it takes is 15, uh, is less than 15, it takes nothing. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Okay. I'll put that in the list. Oh, uh, it's gonna be rough yeah. out here, boys. <laughs> <laughs> As you strike it, I'd like you to roll me a dexterity check to uh, to represent you oh. trying to disable one of its uh, missile batteries. From the, uh, from the, the DGR, right? Yes, because the DGR makes de uh, dexterity, strength, and, uh... Constitution stuff. Yes. All right, that's a, that's a 12. As you try, you swoop in towards it, you strike it, you try to get into the crevices between the metal plates that are on it, but unfortunately you do not manage to uh, damage the batteries. You do manage to damage the DGR, but as you quickly fly off of it as its hand sweeps by you, the damage you do to it looks almost insignificant compared to it. There's a streak yeah. of lightning damage, but it feels almost like nothing. Mm-hmm. Okay. That was only its first attack. You have the rest of its turn and all its other stuff. Uh, yeah, second attack. He'll do another uh, TGR blade attack okay. then. I believe... Wait, I'm going to check its double. It, I'm going to check its bonus actions yeah. just to make sure. Um, uh, it gets three weapon attacks or two... Uh, mm -hmm. Three melee attacks or two ranged attacks. Yeah. I'd like to use its bonus action to use the Excel reactor. I will uh, note, one of the you used grit, right? Okay. Is yes. grit a bonus action? No, it's just on, a, on an attack. Okay, because when you use your stuff through it, it does take the same action, just as a note. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so you want to use Excel reactor. <clears throat> yes. Uh, yes. Uh, so I'm going to use the uh, add a D8 to the uh, results of its attacks Kay. this turn. I dragged it onto it. I'm gonna put a notch here to represent that one of the uses has been used. Actually, I have a thing for a notch sheet, I think. Up here, yeah. I can, like, boop. 
Okay, so you use that as you do energy courses through the DGR unit. The blade grows in size very briefly. Just energy <laughs> oh protrudes God. from it. Uh, go ahead. Make another attack. Yeah. Uh, that's a 23. That's a hit. Oh. Woo. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. You strike. Sick. What is that? That's... Uh, does, I think that gets past its resistance. It does. I'm just checking to yeah. see where all the dice are coming from. So DGR blade. Scorpion mark. Scorpion mark, then 3d10, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So as you strike it, that does. You manage to get past it. Roll me another dexterity check. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, that was two. Let's go with the first one. And for the fun of what we're doing, roll me a d8. We'll save the Excel reactor, maybe, because this part of the yeah. attack stacks on it. Oh, yeah! shit! You dive, oh my god. You dive back into it. You strike it. You bring your blade along it. And because of the Excel reactor, the energy of the blade expands and a shockwave rips across the thigh. That missile pod is disabled. Great. I will go <laughs> to the next one. The the one on its other leg then. Oh, Logan. Okay. Yeah? Can you put the, the little circle thing to us? You can find it under clocks. Yay, thank you. I just, I literally, as you said that, was going to do it. <laughs> so, <laughs> good timing. Oh, there it is. I just hunted around okay. for it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I've got one more attack. Um, There's one more knee. <laughs> Give me that knee. <laughs> Give me that knee. You going after the other missile pod? <laughs> yes. A 26. That's a hit. All right. Yep. Uh, right, good. That's that hits, that bypasses its damage resistance. Roll me a dexterity check and throw a 1d8 on there. Yeah. All right, I'll, I'll roll the dex check yeah. first, and then... Oh, that's a natural oh, one. Don't oh. worry about it. <laughs> then that's, yeah. Why not? We'll see what happens. Oh, your style 13. Point. As you go to try to <laughs> strike myself. that one, you Aww. strike into it, and as you attempt to dig the blade deeper inside, a <clears> massive <throat> hand swats you off of it. There is the moment <laughs> where the DGR unit makes this almost comical, like, look, like, look with its face as it is knocked <laughs> back in the air and rights itself. That one does not, that <laughs> doesn't manage to okay. break it. Can I use Dragon Surge on its turn, or do I have to wait until my turn? <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> huh? Fucking Hugo! <laughs> Dragon Surge. Uh, Dragon Surge. I love the I love the idea of just the players are the mech. <laughs> like the player like <laughs> things that they do are the mech things. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Uh, it's very neat. Blade! Uh, that that's a hit. Hits. hits. Okay. Ah, roll damage first. You I have to strike. do a mile of scrolling. That oh, one does that not sucks. hit, and because you don't do damage, I'm not going to yeah. give you a shot at the missile pod. That's fair. Second attack. As you do Dragon Surge, for the sake of it, the wings on this thing grow and almost become more defined as small little bits of energy take on a clearer shape. The wings split into two. The entirety of the mech takes on a more feral look as you're Dragon Surging. Uh, that <laughs> one hits. Nice. Yeah. Come on. You ever come seen on, a come mech on, come flash on. step? Because that's what's happening right yes. now. That that breaks through. <laughs> that just breaks through its damage. Go ahead and roll <sighs> me dexterity check. Come on. All right, D8 first. All right, that's Ooh. a seven on top of whatever this roll is. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> you strike and you oh, destroy oh. the other one on the other thigh. Those two are effectively disabled. All right. I'm gonna fly up 30 feet to reach its shoulders, I guess. Um, <laughs> I think probably. Yeah, that's about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then I'll use my last attack on the the shoulder. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, yeah. That hits. Four. Yes. I gotta roll damage. Yeah! Oh. Just breaks through! <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh my god. Roll me oh. Check. Oh my god. Come on. Alright. D8. Okay. A five to whatever this is. Come on. Oh, oh no, not that five. one. Ah, <laughs> oh, bane. Ah, oh, beans. Oh, beans. Okay. 
Oh, Banes. <laughs> oh, Banes. Wish I can bane it. I mean, at uh, least it can't do it next turn. Because yeah. the thighs are gone. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Okay. Uh, that's all I can do. Indeed. That's everything I got. Indeed it is. <laughs> uh, your uh, grit lasts just until the end of the turn, right? Uh, let me check the wording. Um... <clears throat> Until the end of that turn. Okay. Yeah. So that's gone. So here's the thing. Vogan's turn is next. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. you'll get then get to do your stuff as Vogan. However, legendary action. Legendary action. Legendary <laughs> 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 I'm sick of you. <laughs> Same. <laughs> as you do this, it is going, and this is gonna gonna piss you off slightly. You see its <laughs> arm get wreathed in this golden energy as it recreates what looks like this um, artifice of the blade that it had out of golden light, and it drives it into the ground. As it does, you see streaks of light rocket across the ground underneath it. How many things can it target? Oh, no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Six. Uh oh. <laughs> Miriam and Lexi. Um, you know what, Lexi? You uh, said you were protecting Miriam, right? I am. You see this streak of light, almost as if it's moving underwater, pass under the ground. It looks like it goes behind Miriam. And you see the ground begin to crack as a burst of light begins to blast up from behind the wall of force. You see that Miriam is just on the edge of it. Is there, Mariam wouldn't necessarily see it, especially since he used his reaction already. Is there anything you would like to do as this column of light erupts from underground? Oh God, that's, oh my God, I got nothing. I can't shoot at it. <laughs> shoot at it. Shoot. I'm just a fox with a bow. I'm, I'm just a fox with a bow, which you can try expect. Kind of knock him away. I could, but I'd be worried about his spell if I did. Uh, Logan, I have a question. Yeah. And this is this is an old, old thing that I haven't been doing and I should have been doing, uh -huh. but I haven't been. So I want to ask a question about it. Uh, You know how Harak has a protection thing where if I dodge, there's like crystals that yes, protect me. Yes, the thing me. that you've literally never yeah. fucking done I've after I've never done, sessions. ever. <laughs> never. Like, no the thing where if you Not dodge, yet, you no. create a goddamn barrier of Chris amylite crystal yeah. between That's you and you things. things. you can do? Yeah, I is. know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the thing that, that, that gives you cover. Would that protect Miriam or just me? And it gives me half It's coming cover. from Calm below. Down. I'd say if you... The cover! Where cover's in that! That's fair, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> if it gave me full cover, I'd be like, hell Shut yeah, the fuck all up. the time. And you'd still not use it for 120 <laughs> I seconds. I wouldn't. If Listen, you... we all know Lexi's player sucks. Go on. Okay. <laughs> if you want to, like, use your reaction to jump at Miriam and, like, try to make that barrier pointed down, I will let yeah. Miriam benefit from cover on this. <gasps> I would like to do that then. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yes. So you okay. go to that. You are, however, in doing this, you will be caught in the the column, and you will have to make the same thing. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay. So partial cover. Crazy. You will get a plus two to your. Uh, it'll be a save in this case, actually. Um, okay. Where are you? Exactly what this is going to be. This is going to be a dexterity save. Um, I actually don't know if cover does cover play into that. I don't exactly. It's a good question. <clears throat> I will consult cover for sure. I think it I think does. I remember something about it. I think it does. I can yeah. just quickly check. Uh, it. Half cover gives you a plus two bonus to AC and deck save throws. Yes. Oh, neat. Nice. Heck yeah. So, it's also going to go at Orbis. Uh, it's not going to go at Quintus. <laughs> Flux. <laughs> a miracle. <laughs> this way it's yeah. going to be automated. You're also going, you see one of these also streak across the landscape. Head below the twin marker, it is going to erupt and blast the twin marker. I don't think there's much you can do, but in case you want to get creative, is there anything you want to try to do from where you are? Um, how far away is it from where I am at this point? Like that far, so 525 feet. Yeah, that's real far, and I'm definitely 
not close enough to really do anything, even if I got creative. Runic shield? <laughs> That's a long range away. runic shield. <laughs> yeah. But you hey. know what? We're doing a giant mech battle today. So ru runic mm. shield, what does it add? He ma it just makes him re-roll. It's not, it doesn't oh, actually Oh, it wouldn't help. do anything. <laughs> okay. no. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Were you just gonna have him throw the spear and have the runic shield sure. like come from the spear? Wow. <laughs> We're doing nonsense Devil today, that sounds right. Hell yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> he doesn't have any javelins, he's got hand axes. <laughs> <laughs> Does he not? I thought he had javelins on his sheet. I, maybe they're just out. He's got two javelins that are gone. <laughs> it says they're used. <laughs> So he's actually just been holding a hand axe in the air, pointing it at the... <laughs> just what a Amazing. Point. He's ready to go. He's oh ready to go, dude. Cut back to Sunder. He's constructed like a rudimentary catapult system to try to launch it. <laughs> oh my god. But yeah, so Flux, is there yeah, anything my... you want to try? Um, I guess just throwing stuff at the wall. Like, my, my main plan was to try and wait for when the, uh, when the missiles kind of converge so that they can all hit the tower and try and fireball them before they can get close. Yeah, but there's no missiles here. Oh shit, they're not missiles, right? So basically, yeah. just struck like a, a blade of light into of the light. ground, these like blasts yeah. of light went under the ground to under their targets and they're erupting as pillars of light beneath them. Gotcha, that's a different thing. Um, could I dispel magic it? It's definitely, oh. you could try. I think that Flux would definitely know this is probably not magic. Ah, uh, yeah, that's, that's a fact. Just want to save you that attempt. Ah, uh, then I, yeah, I don't know that there's anything I can do without just completely throwing out any sense of reality. Okay. So, I get that. Uh, that one's going to be hit. You are going to continue moving towards it. You know what? I feel, I feel like I want to get you more involved. So, you know what we're uh -oh. going to do? You're going to be inspired <laughs> no. to move a bit farther. You're going to move 60 more feet, Flux. That's what you're going to do. Oh, I thought you were going to uh -oh. be like, I want to get you a little more involved. So, Avi, you're being targeted. <laughs> uh, Miriam, so I'm about to throw a dexterity save onto a bunch of you. Uh, Lexi and Miriam, when I do, please put a 2 into your modifier window. In fact, do it now. Press the plus 2 button. Okay, do, doing it now. Uh, yeah, press the plus 2 button before you make the roll. Uh, and Did it. So here is this. Oh, it wants me to make oh. the save for the DGR. That makes oh, sense. Um, that makes sense. Yeah, I guess I'll have to do that. It got a 30. Is that acceptable, <laughs> Vogan? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works. Now we need you other two. Okay, I'm just waiting for you to give us okay. <laughs> oh, 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 Mary! <laughs> Mary, why? It like, it like turned into a tungsten die. It didn't even roll. It just oh. was like, one. <laughs> just sliding as a one the entire time. Like, flipping you off. It wobbled like just a little bit. I was like, no. It like no. slides across the entire up. table, but perfectly on the one. <laughs> <laughs> Screeching <laughs> sound <laughs> as it goes. <laughs> so, Mariam, you fail. Oh, no. Lexi, oh, you also tight. fail. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, I should note, you would be dodging Lexi. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, you would yeah, have advantage. It would only give us the cover if you're doing roll that, me, so you would have advantage. Pro, hit plus two and then roll me another deck save. Bye. <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, because you're super likely to make this because it was like DC 21, if I remember right from last session. Oh. So Lexi, you actually succeed and you have uh, oh, your amazing. you have your fox stuff, evasion. right? So, so then... She's also got evasion. Yeah, that's that's what I mean it's by fox true. stuff. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I said fox stuff for that, but that was also you got, got the, that fox stuff. That fox stuff, I guess, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Miriam is hey. here. Miriam, you are going to take. Uh, does Wall of Force require concentration? It does. It's already Do you, on me. You have it on you? Okay. Oh, no. Miriam, you are the only one to I take. I had one job. 
34 <laughs> points of radiant damage as this thing cool. blasts you. It's yeah. also going to hit the tower. Well. That and you good. succeed your concentration check. Oh, amazing. <laughs> With this uh, necklace and Warcaster, it's hard to make me lose concentration. It's true. Get it, boy. Don't, don't challenge me, boy. I'm gonna say, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. You're <laughs> also <laughs> stunned. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So these are going to represent how much damage has been done to it abstractly. Uh, so that hits. There is now a big ol' one. The twin marker is going to take that same damage. Flux, you see it get bombarded by this wave of light that erupts from below it. Uh, and you would be generally aware that it's it's okay. It's not broken. It's not doing amazing. Oh. Maximum <laughs> another two faster. of those. And it's Cast done. Grand no. mending. <laughs> grand mending. <laughs> Cast <laughs> shape I city. Spell real quick. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking stellar 10th level spell that would be. Shape city. That'd be cool. Oh. Oh. Vogan, uh, you managed to rock it up and get out of the way of uh, that attack. What? Um. However, it is now your turn. You see, it seems to try to hold on to this blade of light it's created, but it dissipates. Since we just passed its turn, I also... It, also, Vogan, <laughs> roll me 1d6. Yeah. Yeah. Five again. Nice. All I have right. no idea if that's good or not. Vogan's turn. <laughs> Great. Uh, so, uh, can I use Orbis? With this? Yes. Then? Cool. Oh, it's gonna resist my damage, though. No, uh, no, no, okay. it won't. Why would it. Oh, because of uh, the shield. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah, that. I did put <laughs> an effect on you, thing. by the way, that adjusts Vogan's size so the system thinks that he's huge. Uh, just so you know, so. Cool. That's not Great. something we have to worry about. Great. Uh, I'm uh, gonna beat him up. Okay. I'm gonna beat up that shoulder of his. Okay. So any All movement right. the DGR took on its turn uh, is subtracted from its movement on your turn, but it's not really an issue because you're in position. Uh, you're going into attack. Mm. Uh, any effects that are on the DGR should also be on you, which I believe that both of you have the Vogenmark thing, because that's technically on him, isn't it? So you're good. Yeah. I'm just making sure going yeah, down my list. On. Cell reactor should be gone, I believe. Uh, I think so. Until the end of, yeah, this turn. So I'm going to get rid of that. You could use, in theory, use that again on this turn. By the way, uh, you can also oh, have you can also have it use its actions on your turn if you want. Uh, remember that when you roll damage for any of your weapons, because of the size difference, you get one more damage die. So, like, if you use Orbis, make sure when you mm -hmm. drag the damage onto him, right click to add a damage die. I have a very important question. Yes. Huh. This is weird. Can I use Fey Gift to give the DGR advantage? You are considered to be the DGR, I'm afraid. Aww. But I totally it. get why you asked. <laughs> you just look down, you're like, Quintus! Quintus, get over to it! Quintus! <laughs> Quintus! Quintus, I need your help! Sorry, my legs still aren't moving for some reason. <laughs> I'm, ah, I'm just... so, I'm so frightened ever since you showed up. <laughs> What's wrong? <laughs> At first I was like, man, I'm ready to die. And then this happened and I just, I, I should be running, but I'm for some reason not. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, let's start off with, uh, yeah, we'll use another one of the Excel reactor reactors. Uh, to give uh, give us some uh, some D8s. Cool. Make sure I throw that onto you. Uh, I don't I, I know if do I have this. an effect. I can do it. Yeah. Cool. In a world where these were more common, you would probably just have a second character sheet that represented the DGR. Probably. There you go. What? I don't get to keep this after this? Who knows? Who knows? Uh, great. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Give it a, some, give some smackins. Uh, I don't know if I can make Vogan target it. Hold on. 
I'm gonna make Vogan target the Excalibur. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, there you go. Vogan's targeting it. Uh, all right. Orbis. Yeah. Come on. You yeah, that's strike, a hit. That's a hit. Yeah. Grit. Because I still have Scorpion Mark on it. So. And then I believe this should be okay. Yeah. <clears throat> and then when you drag damage, remember to drag it and add one. Did you do that? And add one? From... Because you get one more damage die, because like the weapon is bigger right. coming from it. Damn. So roll a d8, okay. oh, and I'll add half of it. And by add half of it, I mean... You lucky son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> you, you little punk. <laughs> you little son of a bitch. You little son of a bitch. That, I guess that does the damage to it. You were right on the edge of no damage. Woo! <laughs> All right, well. I'll take it. You just it. went from no damage to 16 damage. Woo! <laughs> uh, you know what's hilarious? Yes. It's like resistance Dolan. actually is meaningless. Because <laughs> you don't do idolic damage, so it is already going to resist everything you do. So oh. it, it doesn't stack. So the lightning resistance actually isn't changing anything that's going on. Oh, it's not like quartering the damage? No. It's just doing half? Okay. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> oh, thank God. Oh. <laughs> All right, great. It just is a cool thing it did. It's virtually pointless that it did it. It's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, second attack. No. You're attacking the shoulder, right? Oh, beacons. Yes. Oh, roll, yeah. Roll me a dexterity a check. With the... Uh, With the D8. The DGR? Yeah. Uh, add the D8 as well? Yes. Uh, out of five. Yeah, five. Today. Five's pretty good. You gotta run out of those real good. fast. Come on. No, Four. damn it, isn't. <laughs> yeah. That one okay. doesn't work. As you strike it, you get the blade in on one of the shoulder pads and start wrenching it out. There's this metallic bending sound as you start pulling open the shoulder. It then snaps shut with this massive clang that has enough of a shock wave that comes from it that it pushes you back off of it. Your second attack Don't be so stingy. Let me in there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, second attack misses. Third attack. Uh, y'all. Yes! I that, hope that hit. Dear God, hit. if that yes, doesn't. That's it. <laughs> Could you imagine? Oh! Uh, wait before you, want. Before you roll well, you your... See, you have to beat the AC, but you just have to get under the, the maximum AC. <laughs> oh, I see. Oh. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot a thing that it should be sharing. One second, I need to throw an effect on. It's not going to affect anything you've done, but it uh -huh. it should have. Is it the share damage thing? Uh, no, 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 okay. no, 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 no. Need to hide that. How big is it? <laughs> Nineteen. Cool. Uh huh. Uh, is there anything else there that I forgot to? No, that's good. Okay, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, yeah. You strike, that one deals just yes! enough damage. Just I like enough. The, with the extra damage, I love that you're just uh, coming in over the threshold. You're getting lucky uh, it's no in good. that regard. <laughs> yeah. You strike it again, roll me another dexterity check. Alright. I'm being very lenient letting you <laughs> having you decide oh, at least this way. Uh, here. Um, oh. and the, the eight, uh, 22. That one succeeds. Oh! Uh -huh. One more down! Okay. Huh. Uh, great. Uh, that's one of the shoulders, right? And then yep. there's la just one more. So I'll go for that one. <laughs> uh, as I Dragon Surge yet again. Alrighty. Huh. Um. Where's, where's that? Okay. Can't wait till this DGR is fucking out of focus points. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> then I just whack it with a big piece of metal. Then I'm just a good DGR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. That's the sword thing for you. As soon as you run out of focus points, you're just a good fighter in a mech. <laughs> in a mech. <laughs> 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 Pow! <laughs> 
Wait, that hits. Does that hit? Oh, what? Yeah! 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 Damn it! Ah! Oh. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. Take that. About being this oh, big. come on. Oh, that does ah. nothing. Ah. Beans. All right. Second attack. Yeah. <laughs> that okay. hits. Yes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, oh my god! Yeah. 20 damage, baby! What do you mean? <laughs> oh, that would have been so good if it didn't resist anything. <laughs> Last attack. Yeah. Uh, you didn't do the thing. Oh, shoulder. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh, Your sword's the sword that... that will pierce the shoulder. Come on. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. And then... And then... Uh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, man. Nope. Damn it. Yeah. That's and that right. attack okay. you rolled hit. Good. You got the one chance. This is your last one, right? Yes, that's my last one. Yeah, just uh -huh. enough. Just enough. <laughs> All right. Squeaking by. Come on, come on. OK, that's that's not too bad. Not too bad. <laughs> and then dexterity check. 23. Oh. It breaks. Yeah! yeah! Oh my god! <laughs> I knew you were waiting for the drop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Bravo. Oh, thank God. Okay. <clears throat> Do I have any? I think I'm done. I think I'm good. I think that's it. <laughs> Those are your two turns after this barrage of striking into the missile batteries, bouncing from each to each using two dragon surges. You manage to yep. disable all four of the missile uh, battery sections on it, which all close, electricity crackling along them. The massive proto DGR does stumble back for a second, and you just hear this brief, Kah! <sighs> You're very synchronized with it. I haven't learned how to do that just yet. Thanks. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and, that, and that's your turn? Yeah. Legendary action. Uh, junctioning with one uh, of those things. Oh. Couldn't be my oh, turn. No, no, no. Oh. It couldn't be. Oh. <laughs> what is it doing? It is going to... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Repair uh, all of its missile things. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, that would have actually... No, because it used Light Quake, uh, it's actually used all its legendary actions, so it's not going to use anymore. Oh, sick! Woo! Hey! To compensate for the ah. fact that uh, they have a pilot and effectively get a second turn, <laughs> most EGRs don't have a lot of legendary actions when they do. I'm fine with that. Fenris, <laughs> you're gas. What are you doing? Uh, huh. You can as, willingly as, stop being gas if you want to, yeah, but you, you as, maybe get away a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> well, I can probably get away a lot faster if I'm not gas. So I think I'm going to stop being a fart. Okay. <laughs> no. Fart in the wind. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank Damn. you, Cody. Gonna, is it an action to ungas? I think you just I don't do it. Have, I don't have the spell in front of uh, me. I'm pulling it up because I can never remember with gaseous form. Uh, you... Can you drop concentration when it's from a potion? Or is uh, it just last until it depends oh. on the, it depends the spell on the says The spell says you can drop it. But I don't know if that is anything. But how? The spell ends if the creature drops to zero hit points. I actually don't think, uh... You might be thinking of the other gas spell. Oh, am I? I might yeah, be. This one doesn't have any text about that, so I'm going to check if you have to concentrate on this. If you don't, um, then you're stuck as a gas. No! Just, just float away. Just, just float Cody! with the breeze. I'm it's fine. To He's help. never going to try to go after a fart. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have things I still No concentration have to required. Do, Cody. You aren't concentrating, so you Get cannot willingly. <laughs> You are a fart. You are, a, you are this for an hour. I'm sorry. Float away. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Is wait. this uh, me the today? Say, the potion you says for an hour or until you end it as a bonus action. Bam! All right. Oh, Is it for the fucking win? All Dang right, it. you can end it as a bonus action. Get it, boy. Action. <laughs> oh. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Cody. Fuck you, Cody. <laughs> but yeah, you're thinking of wind walk. Uh, All right, so ooh. bonus action, you end that effect. Yeah, I'm. Oh, that's so annoying that it's still a bonus action, but I get it. All right, sure. Uh, I'm gonna use my bonus action to stop, to drop it, and then I'm going to <laughs> cast haste on myself. That's fair. And then I'm going to start running. All righty. So what casting. Part of the jet? <laughs> oh. <Quite great. laughs> I'm, what did you say? Toward the proto DGR. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cast haste so she can run to it faster. So you would be using your action, and I assume your haste action also to run? Oh, God, I have haste action. Right. Okay, I mean, what awesome. else are you going to do with it? That's a great what question. What else are you going to do with it? Well, I have ideas. <laughs> Listen. You gotta go attack the DGR. <laughs> oh, Logan. Oh, Logan. The plans I have. You have eight hit points. You have no <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Must be nice. I, <laughs> Must be nice. I also. Uh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? I also, I also happen to be a very ambitious young person. So. <laughs> Uh -huh. But I'm running away in this time. Okay. I'm running away. I'm running away so far. For the purposes How of this. How far can I get? Uh, because you're hasted and you've you've already used your uh, action to cast the spell, <laughs> so you would have your action yeah. and then your haste dash, which is a total of 120 feet. That's so cool. Things worked out perfectly <laughs> anyway. Okay, that's so what we're gonna move you this far if that's cool. Oh, hold on. Let me. Uh, I might not want to move all my. Well, let me see how far I am. From. You might not want to move. He's also in the, uh, 70 feet in the sky and prone to moving. That things, doesn't. By the way. That doesn't. None of that. Yes, this is perfect. This all is according to. I will also remind Continue. you the DGR is a construct. Spells. A lot of spells say they can't heal them. You Vogan, if he's oh, healed, oh. it heals the DGR for half as much. But you can't target Vogan from Vogan. where he is. Logan, you have no idea oh. what I am doing. <laughs> yes, you and I, I feel it. that may come to, back to bite you. <laughs> but I have no idea what you're doing. Well, I'm going to be reading my spells <laughs> until my turn, so I will have a lot of time to figure out <laughs> if my idea a was a bad coming. idea. Yeah. <laughs> There's There's that's, that's you, a then. storm coming. Yeah. Okay, so you move I back I turn to that Quintus way. and I'm like, run! <laughs> and then I go. And then you flash them away. <laughs> Yep. I don't know if I can. When is it your turn, <laughs> Miriam? You're on deck. I can. <laughs> Get uh, the hell out of here. See, <laughs> when have I ever listened to Vogan? What? Bro. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna fly up ten feet. You're all right. And I'm going to put my hand over toward the DGR that Vogan's in, and I'm gonna cast uh I'm, I'm gonna cast uh Shield of Faith uh -oh. on the DGR. <laughs> nice, cool. Yeah, do it. <laughs> Let's go. Like, just like do the bah! <laughs> As this happens, Vogan, inside of the DGR, there is just like a screen that pops up on the side that through more complicated terms that you don't initially understand, you just see the words like magical augmentation accepted. Fucking as the entirety of the DGR. Oh. It, like this normally not terribly visible, but in this case, this uh, shield of electric energy builds up and forms this holographic long shield on one arm of the DGR. Oh. At which point? Yo! <laughs> and I'm out! Uh, I will, I will move 20 feet that way. Um, and, uh, then I will, um, use my, uh, action to dash, because that was a bonus action. Okay. Uh... And you see, I, I, that would be that would be a, a pretty good. To use, uh, I'm going to use my uh, my action search. <laughs> I'm Incredible. going to keep going because <laughs> I don't want to be here any longer. <laughs> Man, no, that, come back. That image of him <laughs> fleeing with just like a low down shot up of the fight still happening in the background, becoming no more distant. Respectively. <laughs> it's yeah, just that, like puts the shield up like that is literally everything I can do. Ah, this rattle do. <laughs> All right. And uh, that, that's me. I'm just getting the fuck out. Miriam. 
Ow. I'm sorry, baby. I'm trying. <laughs> oh, no, it's fine. I wouldn't have dodged that anyways. Mm. Uh, well, it's mostly intact. Um, I don't know if I could stop those. Oh. What did so, we do? Well, I am going to increase my odds of survival by standing... Over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's step one. <laughs> step two? Well, we'll see about step two. <laughs> wow. You don't even know what I got planned. <laughs> Only there's the storm coming. <laughs> the storm. Ooh. <laughs> um, I will continue to focus on my, my spell and set. Where should I throw this? Where's a good place? Huh. That works. Alrighty. Uh, so you're gonna continue to concentrate, hold your action to do stuff. Everyone, because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm giving you just a free reign to be, you have a re, you have your reaction to, you're ready to do stuff. Yeah. <laughs> when yep. the time comes <laughs> up. <laughs> Things. The pilot is going to go, and they're going to have oh, the bad. thing make three attacks. Mm. The stance of the DGR mm. changes slightly uh, as you see it take on <clears throat> um, a much more fighty sort of uh, stance. Like it looks less like a gigantic form of a thing that's trying to crush you, and briefly looks more like something that would is trying to like quick jab you. Let's see. Oh, what do you have ultimately? You do have fucking Taunty is in there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Irish Taunty. She learned is in an there. accent. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. The DGR is going to make three attacks against you. Oh no. Here they come, Logan. They're on their way. The first one is an uppercut as it tries to strike against you. Uh, that hits. Are you going to do anything in response? Not yet. Okay. It strikes you, you take... Oh, it rolled really bad. Did you take 11 damage? Hooray! <laughs> it rolled a two and two once. <laughs> wow. I'm glad I didn't use the my deflection there. Yeah. Goes for another attack. One of its wings comes in and tries to strike you from the side. That... That's a miss! Hooray! It then raises ah. itself up. It goes up into the air and it is going to bring up one of its legs and it attempts to use the point to strike you. This attack will be a shove attempt. <gasps> trying to knock me prone? It's trying to knock you prone. Okay. It is going mm. to, please roll me uh, acrobatics or uh, athletics, your choice. Okay, and I have to use the DGRs, correct? Yeah, uh, yes, but it's a skill thing, so unless it's on their sheet, uh, use it from your sheet, mm -hmm. and it'll the stats will even out and adjust however they need to. Okay, I've got a yeah. The DGR will use acrobatics because it's pretty good at those. Okay, go for it. Oh, oh, 17, 18. It just 18. beat you. Ah, oh, mm -hmm. man! Its foot comes down, strikes you and it pins you down, the tip of its pointed foot strikes you down into a building, drags you across the landscape as you are now on the ground. Not gonna deal falling uh. damage to you for the sake of what we're doing. Uh, but it strikes you, drags you along the ground through several of the houses in the conjoining block. It then kicks you off, sending you flying into one of the buildings over here which you crash and uh. partially land in a hole in the side of this warehouse that you've effectively crashed into the side of. Uh, you're asking for it, buddy. Uh. Aviana. Now Sorry. I'm mad. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. <laughs> now it's bull. Oh. <laughs> now I'm angry. I'm... Something, something, fighting spirit. <laughs> yeah. No matter, no matter what Logan says, I'm going to assume the miss was because of the shield. Oh. <laughs> Avi, do you want to continue helping the Nephilim? And is there anything in particular yes. you wish to do? Um, 
I don't think there's anything really in particular, but like kind of watching out of the corner of her eye, just like what is going on, which is holy shit, balls, holy forking shirt balls. <laughs> um, Me too. Just even though they're injured, she's just trying to like usher them to like pick up the pace ever so slightly because we don't know what another fucking attack's happening. Yeah, gotcha. uh, <laughs> moving. I'm just gonna throw you like there, and we'll just assume you're generally moving along that path. Yeah. Roll me a D100. Okay. Uh, Ooh, that's an eight. Oh, that's pretty good. Not bad. I think it's pretty fucking excellent. Huh? Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. I want Burgundy to be in this forest. I don't know why. <laughs> Lexi, you got an eight. Oh, you go your eight turn. Feet. Is there anything that you want to do? <laughs> I'm fucking probably the same thing. I'm probably just gonna go over to marry him. I wanna scoot over to where he is and do and do the dodge again. And right. the crystals will help. Yeah. Huh. Crowd dodge on you? Oh that's on that's on the wrong person. I'm all the way over here, Logan. Yes. I'm over here. I'm over here. I'm here. Oh. I'm here. Only time I can uh -oh. use this because only time it's fucking useful. What? The song. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's about to go. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, whose turn is it next? Who, um, <laughs> Lexi, is that your turn? Uh, I think oh it's. No. I think it's. I think it's, <laughs> no, I think it's no, Excalibur's no, turn no. next. Oh, no. I don't need Dodge. it to make the fucking. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I you dodged. see some of the plates on the DGR shift? As steam expels from various parts of its body as if resetting. Looking Look, it's my at... turn though. It's not your turn though. <laughs> no, it's my turn oh, though. No! Oh fuck! As it charges forward with you Change and the, the DG song, are please. being prone. <laughs> <laughs> It is going to rush towards you, and it is going to make its uh, own three slam attacks against you, Vogan. No! Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Indeed. All right. As it strikes down against you, it has advantage. So here's the thing that I... Cool. So here's the thing that it's sharing with its pilot. Uh-huh. It has an expanded crit range. Oh, and it oh, just got God. it. God damn it. Exemplary Whoa. deflection, please. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was saving it for. <laughs> All right. Uh, do I have that one today? <laughs> All right, oh, here it comes. Oh, <laughs> my it's... God. Oh, it didn't, uh, it didn't register for some reason. I don't know. Did I type the thing in wrong? Uh, oh, I think I put it on the wrong. Good. That's too on. bad, Logan. That's already rolled. You can't do anything about oh, it. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I'll just... <laughs> I'm just gonna... Too late. I'm just gonna roll three more d10s. No. <laughs> no, no. Uh, you take another... The DGR, rather, takes another 18 points of damage. You want to mark that on my own, or...? I'll, I'll throw it on you. Okay. So two four two minus two, 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 So that's. It's a nice calm part of it for while I'm doing math and adjusting this. Oh, that's nice. It is very nice. <sighs> All right. So you have been reduced to uh, two hundred and twenty-two points. Honestly, you mm -hmm. haven't taken all that much damage overall, if I'm going to be real. It's true. It's true. Yeah. You're doing pretty good, and you got exemplary deflections. So that's solid. That's pretty good. It strikes again. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> it does not grant the misses as it strikes Hooray! you, destroying that building entirely, dragging you on the ground through it. Uh, again, it brings its leg up and tries to pin it into you on the ground. You dodge off to the side as it strikes like a massive column. There's a shock wave as the remains of that building scatter around. It's then going to drag that foot through the earth and attempt to kick you. Last ah. attack. Not a crit, but it's a hit. Did that have advantage on me? Yes. It you're, shouldn't have because of Scorpion Mark. Oh, it can't have advantage on you. 
Uh, I'll read it to you if you want. Please do. Um, let's see. For up to an hour, while it has Scorpion Mark on it, I can't be surprised by the creature. They cannot gain advantage on any attack against me, and they have, and I have advantage in all perception checks or survival checks. Okay. To track or follow them. So the main thing that we should have been doing then is. Oh, the Scorpion Mark thing is not on it anymore. Did wow. it go away? Uh, it says it's got the effect. Oh, on I it. understand why. Okay, so I'm gonna need a few things from you. Um, okay. because it should have you should have been making concentration checks for Scorpion Mark. Oh yeah. I think you've yeah, been hit fair. three times, and I don't remember the exact DCs, but let's just most of them been around 30 damage. Let's say they're all 15. Could okay. you make me using whichever one of them you want that is higher? Could you make me three concentration checks for up to this point? They're both the same. So yeah. <laughs> That's Add a 20. Good that's first cool. One. First one succeeds. And then... Ah, uh, that's fail. Okay. So we're going to say that it would have failed by now, so it would have had okay. the advantage that it's had? Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay. And then, did I roll damage on that one? I don't think I did. I hit you, but then you mentioned it had advantage. Yeah. So no, you haven't rolled damage yet. As it strikes you, the foot collides with the side of the unit. Again, sends you kind of sprawling out across the ground. He didn't roll great again. He takes 17 damage. Ugh. For the sake of dramatics, it sends you hurtling into the other building. You crash into the side of it. Ah, blood, blood, blood. Blood, blood, blood. everywhere. Oh. Uh, in that is going to be its turn. Vogan, roll me 1d6. Let's work out. It's another five. Two! two I ain't going to do. Neat. Sunder. Constructing I his... I can't help but see that it didn't move at all, the countdown it thing. Did. Moved by one. Mm. You give Sunder a, uh, a lever long enough and he can move the moon. Yeah. <laughs> that old He'll keep growing. Isn't... You know what? He's going to keep growing until he reaches the moon. <laughs> until his... he's Kaiju Sunder <laughs> stops yeah. across the city. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's something he can do, I think. <laughs> so he'll be there. He's... He'll be there. Flux. <laughs> yeah. He'll take the dodge action. Moving. I'm probably you... still running or flying. We're going to roll me an Same athletics way. check, Flux. Sure. Again. I believe. He's busy taking the haul ass action. <laughs> Not great. That'd be worse. Okay. We're gonna give you hey. let's we'll round up to another ten feet. <laughs> Gets to the trees. A lake <laughs> 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 Oh God! I assume you're going like over the trees and whatnot. Uh, yes, uh, yeah, I'm definitely flying. Because <laughs> you took off at 200 and, uh, feet, and I've just kind yeah. of assumed you're still up there. For Flux, sure. Yeah, roll me perception. Oh, okay. Um, Flux, you're so good at those. Come on. <laughs> Sometimes. 19. That's actually pretty good. Flux, from where you are, you see a small amount of what look to be uh, humanoid figures that have metallic armor glowing sections of them moving through the forest path. Uh, they look like they're on their way to intercept the Aviana group. Oh. Ooh, do they look unfamiliar? Or? From where you are? Blast them. They look very familiar. Do we get them? <gasps> oh. Look, the, the, you haven't seen them before, but from the armor, they look like, uh, are they non-modern frame built units? <gasps> oh. Oh. Oh, that's bad. Yeah, um well, where where like on the map am I seeing that basically? If you look at where Avi's heading, that path, yeah. they're coming from like right. the opposite end of that path that Avi's heading down. Fuck, I've completely Where's lost track of where Avi is. Go to where you are, go to the I'm lesser church, here. and then follow that path down. Oh shit, we're pretty close. Gotcha. They're down oh, there, yeah. ish, and probably. They're coming down there. Gotcha. Hmm. Okay, I may 
need to consider changing course a little bit. <laughs> that seems like, uh, that could get bad. But I'm out of op uh, action, so, uh... I'm out of options. I'm out of options. <laughs> this shit self-destruct. Oh, no! Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll see how that goes and, uh, figure out what I can do next turn. I'll see how they do. Because <laughs> I'm, like, out of movement and actions, uh... Let's see, yeah. <laughs> how far away is that? There's no way Avi could hear me. And uh... Maybe if you yell real loud, they're like, what, they're... 200, 100, 200 yeah. is the key thing here. They're, they're about 200 feet away, no matter which way you slice it. Gotcha, okay. So, if Avi hears me, those guys will probably hear me as well, but that's probably worth it to give them the tip off. Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, just... What's that? <laughs> trying to think of, like, what's the equivalent for a frame build of, like, filling your lungs as much as you can so you can scream. Turn the um, volume knob. Turn the volume <laughs> up the volume knob. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Yeah, just, uh, um, yeah, stops briefly. Um, Avi, a group of frame builds incoming! Ooh. So, Avi, roll me, so, a, with this warning, roll me a perception check. Okay. So I'm now glitch, glitching out. Can you stop, computer, please? I need you to hold day, out. Huh? I need to hold out just a little fucking longer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was oh. almost a two, dude. So Avi, as this is yeah. said, the end. You look forward. You having been paying more attention to the nephilim that you are guiding. Uh, you look forward and you do recognize what appear to at first be several armed individuals uh, coming out of the forest, but you quickly recognize to have similar features to Flux, but the outer armor they're wearing appears to be much more ancient. You recognize them as what you would call Warforged, but what you guys are now coming to learn are called Frame Built. Uh, the two types that you see are what look like rather basic units that are kind of vaguely similar in build to Flux, uh, but again, with different looks, you see individuals that resemble this, an image you've seen before. You see approximately three of them. One of them seems to be carrying more equipment than the others. Uh, but leading them, you see an individual that is carrying, uh, that appears to have heavier armor. They look like they're of a higher status. Their faceplate, uh, a bit more defined. There's like a, cr there's a crest on the helmet that they have effectively. There are various spears that appear to be magnetically adhered to their back that are almost appear to be floating behind them, but are definitely moving uh, relative to their armor. And as they move forward, you see they are carrying a large great sword. As you see. Oh. Oh. Hi. Oh, that's intimidating. Indeed. We can uh, revisit what's going on with all that once we get to your turn, Avi. Well, shit. <laughs> Flux, uh, that's a pretty full turn. I assume that's you. Yeah, that's me. Okay. In that case, there's going to be a legendary action on the part of uh, on no. the part of Excalibur. It's going to once again create that blade of light, strike it into the ground. Uh, you guys see them follow the same basic paths. One heads towards uh, Sagita. The other ones head towards those two markers. Uh, Flux, Merriam, Lexi. Is there anything you guys would like to do to try to protect the markers you're near? I know the question might be a bit redundant, but I feel the need to ask anyways. This time you guys would see these beams of light underground coming from farther away, because you know to expect that sort of shimmering energy below the earth coming towards you. So... With that in mind, is there anything that you'd like to do to try to prevent it from doing anything? Hmm. I don't think I got anything, man. Um. I mean, the first thing that jumps to mind is I'd like to use a destructive wave to see if I can intercept the energy underneath us Ooh. as it gets close. Nice. I accept that. That's an option. 
Uh, get yourself ready with that's a... That, that's cool. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's, we're playing D&D. That's what we're doing. Um, yeah, we're doing. I'd say get me ready with a um, spellcasting ability check. Remember that? Flux, is there anything on your side you'd like to do? The path of this light would almost pass close to you, Flux. You'd head, like, that way. So you would be about that close within... Man, how far is that from you? The path this thing's following is about 150 feet from you. With that knowledge, is there anything you'd like to do to intercept or try to stop this underground well of light? Oh, light. Gotcha. Um, and it's, is it like displacing the ground or is it just kind of like phasing through Phasing it? under it until it gets to where it's going to pop up, at which point it explodes upwards. Gotcha. Okay. Um, two potential ideas that might be dumb, but I will say. Excellent. Um, Let's fucking go. One is just like try to intercept it with a fireball. Um, other idea that is a little more loose with the rules. Could I use fabricate to, I guess, try and solidify the ground in front of it to keep it from progressing. But I don't know that, like, it seems like it's just phasing through the ground easily. I don't know if that would be Yeah, anything. but I mean, whenever magic affects an area, it does cause it to interact differently with things. Whichever idea you want to commit to, they both sound about as good to you, I think. Um, so you just let me know which one you want to try. Okay. Um... Yeah, let's let's give that a shot. I'll use fabricate to uh, try and just make the ground in front of it that it's trying to go through just hyper dense. All right, you uh, use that picnic dinner set to stop the light. <laughs> <laughs> you get them. Both of you, please roll oh, me a spellcasting you. ability check. All right. Could it be Arcana? <laughs> it's a, it's a spellcasting <laughs> ability. Good job, Marion. Damn. Oh. oh, look at you both go! Oh, 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 as you see God. it coming simultaneously, Miriam, you see it coming, you ready a destructive wave, strike into the- You know what? You tell me how this goes. What do you What do? You do? Like a beam of light's coming, as it both works? Do it. Totally. How does it go, Miriam? Uh, so Miriam's got his hands out, trying to focus on keeping the wall of force stable. Uh, as round two of our little light floor show happens. And there's just a moment of, Thank you. no, 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 not again. And he <laughs> brings a foot forward and just slams it down as a wave of uh, radiant energy and force uh, ripples out from, like through the earth underneath him. And there's just oh. a eruption of energy in a like semicircle in front of the two of them. As gotcha. the, uh, the two points of force meet. Oh. The beam of light erupts somewhat uh, between like you guys and the temple. As it does, it seems to be tilted back away from you as the energy scatters upwards and back. Flux, describe to me how yours is stopped. Oh yeah, I, think I got an interesting idea. Um, he basically makes it, he, use, he uses fabricates to intercept the path of this beam and makes it so that he creates like a crater in the ground where one one side of it is hyper dense, knowing that energy tends to lose a lot of power when it tra uh, ch changes from one state to the other, like traveling through a solid, through a gas, back into a solid. So it's forcing it to leave the earth, fly through the air for a little bit, and then hit this hyper dense wall of rock. As you do, it blasts oh. outwards, goes through one side of it. The energy, this like starlit beam that escapes from this hole, strikes the other side of the pit, and then seems to almost pull briefly inside of the hole that you create and fires upwards, as you do, in fact, stop it from progressing forward. <coughs> All right. Neither of them will take damage. However, back home, Orbis, you are being hit with this as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh come on, Spencer, Fabri fabricate some things, do, do some destructive Come on, you got this. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and um, oh, it's gonna make me roll it. So boom. Yeah. Okay. That is a success. It says success. You should be prone. You are prone. Why didn't you have disadvantage on that? 
because I'm just that cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, Fingy I'm gonna, guns. <laughs> I'm going to have him roll it again. <laughs> <Just go. laughs> yeah. Okay, the lower of the two was a 14. It did fail. Boo. <laughs> boo. Boo, hiss, hiss, boo. <laughs> so, as it happens, the quickest of the dual waves goes towards you and blasts upwards from underneath you. Because you're on the ground, you do not manage to dodge this one. You will take this in radiant damage. You take a total of 34 points as this column of light erupts from ah. below you. Ow. Fuck and you! Ow! <laughs> it is now your turn. <laughs> Ow! I get up. <laughs> I like to fly towards. <laughs> I uh, fucking <laughs> peel myself away from this broken building. <laughs> <laughs> and fly towards it. Alright. Um, Are you also going up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I will. Okay. That's where you up like 40 feet or so. Sick. Alright. Its missiles are taken out, so that's that's pretty okay. Hmm. It's its sword that's doing that That thing. sword a right. appears and disappears between attacks. You get the yeah. impression that it would normally do that with its main sword. But that sword mm -hmm. crumbled away and disappeared, so it's like creating a replica briefly to do this. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't look okay. like something you could disable necessarily. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, then I'll just. I guess I'm gonna try and slash into it. I can't really think of anything that would, you know, bug it further. Gotcha. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, DGR is going at it. Some attacks. Uh, yeah. Do I want to use Where the... Where did I throw that fucking crit effect? If I didn't throw it on him, who did I throw it on? Who is <laughs> see, who is suddenly better at crits? Me. Nope, it's me. me. It's me. 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 <laughs> it's so pointless. It's me. God, I hope it's me. I would love that so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. That's a miss. That's a miss. Yeah. Oh no, that's a miss. That's a miss. You had such oh, a good turn yeah. last turn. What's going on? I had to, I had to pay for it somehow. That's a hit. <laughs> there you go. Great. All right. Uh. Yeah, I can I think I have to use uh scorpion mark and grit in order to get past its threshold. Um. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna scorpion mark it and then uh and then grid. Uh drag it onto it. Okay. And then grit. And then I'll put the effect on the DGR. Okay, so I've changed it. I've changed it so that the DGR is now the one concentrating on that effect, so that when it takes damage, it'll automatically do its thing. Sick. Okay. Now, uh, did I already do... I did not do damage yet. Okay. Come on, please get past its threshold. Oh. I don't think that did it. Oh. Yeah. No. Uh. Ah. Beans. How many, how many points Beans. do I have left? Uh, okay. Not the beer. The beer. The beer. The beer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trying to count how many. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to use Dragon Surge again. Mm -hmm. Was that three attack? Yeah, it was three attacks. You're right. Yeah, it was three attacks. So this is your dragon surge at this point should cost yeah four. You got it. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Uh, first attack. As you strike. Okay, that's better. That's, that's better. That's a miss. Oh shit. Okay. It's AC Second 22. Attack. Yeah. Right. 
Oh, God. No, no. Come on. Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Oh, <laughs> waste of points. No. You strike forward. You you find that having been damaged somewhat and being a bit exhausted, uh, the DGR just doesn't seem to be able to hit as hard as it was before. The proto DGR seems entirely undamaged. I just Vogan inside it just smacks the side of like the cockpit like, hey, do better. <laughs> <laughs> a small minimalistic face that looks like a combination of the DGR's normal face and like Orbis's horns shows up. It is normal at first and then it flashes red and has little angry eyebrows when you do that. <laughs> 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 Don't get mad at me, you're not hitting it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's I guess that's all I can do. Um Yeah. Yeah that's all. All right, Vogan. Well, now that your turn's over, Vogan, it's your turn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Whatever. What uh, do you do? All right. I attack. Um, I'm gonna use its last Excel reactor to give uh, get the. It's cool. That one d eight. I'll throw yeah. it on you. Cool. All right. First attack. Yeah. That did a little fucking dance. You hit. It did. <laughs> uh, put grit into it. I remember to add the extra okay. die each time you hit. Oh, yeah, you're right. Grit. Um. Right. You rush towards come on, come it. On, come on, come on. It yeah, tries to strike up. you uh, with its hand to <laughs> knock you away. You sort of do that thing where you dodge just along its arm and skate along it up to its main body, yeah. striking up it as you do. First attack done. Second attack. Yeah. <sighs> and that hits. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You deal. Oh. You no. just do nothing. Oh, my. No. Oh, I hate this game. No, <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you literally the coolest thing in D&D history right now. I'll it's just you in the not team. right enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've given you a mech. Yeah, man. It's just not enough. It's just I made not your enough. mech and cheese just how you like it. Fuck. Oh, that Wait, just that hits. Hit. That hits. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. No! Damn it! No. Ah. <sighs> I got one hit in. That's, that's good. <laughs> and I can't afford to do another uh, dragon surge. So, that's all I got. All right. That's your turn. Roll me another yeah, D6. That's all, all I can do. Yes! Oh. It. Ooh. Those hits as you do them, you find that though you don't do damage, the places that you strike its arms seem to open up uh, as if you are giving the places that you hit an indication that the gold effect that is peeling away at this thing should centralize there. Its arm just has this massive golden gash running up it now as one side of its body looks like it's almost entirely crumbled away. At this thing, this thing is more of a giant construct made mostly of golden light than it is its own solid body. Oh. Sick. As it does that, it inspects itself. It does that, like, moving its hands, flipping them around as it seems to clock that it doesn't have much time left to do what it needs to do. Avi! Yeah. Moving back to you across this big old, the biggest, largest scale combat map we've ever fucking had to use. And that, there we go. Hi. True. As if in response to being noticed. Where are they? Four units. Wait, are we just? Oh, sorry. Are we just going straight to Avi's turn? No, I'm just getting Avi's attention. Okay. Just making sure. Oh, it's their turn. Don't worry, she's just getting sorry, hit. Sorry, Yes. Yeah. Obviously, she's <laughs> getting attacked. Yeah, I'm just gonna die, but... Yeah, As if in response, when you turn yeah, and fine. you see the individuals coming That's towards you, uh, you hear the sound of what the... this mechanical, like, sound that almost sounds like the sound of a bolt launcher, but with a hydraulic kick on the end of it. 
Uh, as you do, Avi, first one's going to have advantage, because these guys have been hiding. You did uh -huh. notice them, but they had been hiding. Uh, as a bolt flies towards you, I'm going to say that you would not see this one coming for the purposes of reactions. But it's okay, because they rolled a one into two. Uh, so as it fires towards you, you kind of duck to the side. The Nephilim that are with you peel off as you see these individuals. The hand of this one appears to have fallen down off of its wrist slightly, and there is uh, kind of popping up from it this uh, rudimentary bolt launcher on the back of its arm that appears to be uh, reload itself. As it then fires another one at you, this one will not have advantage. Mm -hmm. Oh. Still misses, as you continue to dodge, cool. as this line of frame built moving towards you appears to begin engaging. Another one is going to do the same thing. Two of them are going to fly towards you. They rush forward, get down on one knee as if to aim more closely. <coughs> they fire. And one sec. This one is actually... Rather than do that, actually, this one is going to rush you. It rushes up towards you. <gasps> As it moves, you see its arm shift, uh, and you see it clench its hand, and you hear this locking sound as if its fist locks into place in a solid state. It is going to make two strike attacks against you. The first one, that is a hit. Okay. However, it's like a soft hit. It's just a little bonk to my face. You take four damage reduced down from nine. Cool. It is cool, at this cool, point cool, cool. I want to point out, and I, I, I told Aaron I was going to be doing this. Um, I have I'm I've been quietly running the glancing blows rule in the background. So if you uh, just meet something's AC, you do half damage to it. Interesting. Uh, and I will note to you guys that statistically, <laughs> I don't it doesn't stack with resistance. I don't think uh, statistically. This favors you, just so you know, because players yeah. are attacked more than they attack. So just True. Throw, throwing that out there. So you take four yeah. damage as opposed to nine in this case. I think it's a good time to bring it up because it's favoring you this time. <laughs> this uh -huh. is a good chance to be like, hey. Uh, hey I'm perfectly fine with it. I think it favors me most. <laughs> it does. This second attack also <laughs> hits, but this is a proper full hit. As it strikes okay. you, Avi, are you going to do anything to it? I'm saving my uncanny dodge for a crit because I feel like there's more boys coming from my face. Who knows? That's right, you should do that. You take seven damage. Cool. Ow. Uh, as they attack you, a bit of chaos that's going on there, we're going to peel back away from. We're going to go to Fenris! All right. Oh, Venice, uh, you hear explosions, right. you see crashes as the fight seems to move farther north in the city. However, even as you're moving, uh, you do detect a one of those light waves, one that was stopped by Flux, does move kind of under and past you, and you see it blast in the distance. As well, uh, at one point as you stop, you see uh, bits of building from over there fly and crumble and scatter across the road where you are from one of the impacts. Uh, turning around briefly, you do see Orbis, having previously been knocked down, fly back up into the air to engage with this DGR. Yep. With all that, what would I'm you like do, to do? I'm gonna do a little bit of a U-turn. All right, back we go. <laughs> Just a little bit. I have to get in range. <laughs> Um, just to double check, uh, when it doesn't specify, uh, like, when it says one creature and it doesn't specify, like, not constructs, that still counts for constructs, right? Uh, con constructs are creatures. What is the spell? Yes. Well, I have two spells, so I have, I have a, one more question for you. Um, can constructs take temporary hit points? What is the spell? I'm either doing Path to Victory or Burdened Blood. But I'm going to be doing Throw Image so that I can cast it at 120 feet so that a that's image cool. of Fenris will appear on the DGR. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a cool idea. Um, so I'm just, it would say in the spell and yeah, it can, yeah, it can gain temporary hit points and Path to Victory also works on any creature, so yes. Yeah, so I guess I'm just trying to figure out what uh, is more helpful. I think Burdened Blood will be in this case, because I think 
you can expend those hit points continually with each attack, right? Yeah. So he could spend up to 50, however att many attacks he has. I don't know. I've been blacking up planning. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think I'm going to give you Burdened Blood. And with Throw Image, is there a spell... Like a... Is there a set... Uh, a spell capacity that I can cast? Like It's per spell. Or... For each spell you want to use it on top of? Like, is that what you're asking? Like, how many spells can be cast through it? Um, more... What level spell can I cast through it, or how that works? Oh, like, what can be any, right? When you can cast I... it, you can cast any level of spell through it. Um, right. There are no limits to the... what's the cost of it? It <laughs> is a second level spell, so to use throw image, you have to use a second level spell slot on top of whatever the other spell is. So cool. in this case, you're doing so Burden Blood to... at what level? Third, so it'll be a fifth level spell no, slot. No, no, it's one second level spell slot and one third level. Ooh, then I'll do it at fifth level. Okay, so tick off I'm a second level as as and a fifth level spell slot. Uh, so I as Fenris rushes forward, just for people at home, throw images, one of the Tequin spells, it'll be in the setting guide. Effectively, the long and short of it is you can, when you cast another spell, you can cast this on top of it. It lets you, uh, it's a second level illusion spell, lets you create an echo of yourself up to 120 feet away, and then the spell originates from that echo, which helps you to increase the range or change where you want to do like a destructive wave, stuff like that. Uh, it then disappears hey, next Can I be Dynax posing on the robot? <laughs> sure, <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Thank you. I'd like to be Gynax posing while I cast Bird and Blood as, as on Vogan. As you do, Vogan. you rush forward, you cast, <laughs> throw image. Vogan, there's just this moment where after you're uh, kind of knocked back by the proto DGR, Fenris just sort of appears, standing on top of the chest of the DGR, doing this Gynax pose. As it does, the image oscillates and kind of vanishes, like bursting into this reddish, misty magic that goes into the crevices of the DGR, and there's a red flash from beneath it as it registers that it is being uh, junctioned and helped by this. Uh, so oh. Fenris... Um, yes. How do you it, want me to drag the health on? Because I don't want to do that. Onto wrong. the DGR, and it's 2d6. Okay. It should be a total of 6d6, I think. 6d6? Well, because you're casting I like it at that number level, right? better. Yeah. Yes, I am. 6D6. I like that number. So, so do 6d6 plus your spellcasting modifier onto him. Here you go, baby girl. You gain 29 so, temporary hit points. And you can expend nice. five of those per attack to give yourself advantage. I know that the damage threshold is more of the thing, but I can't help you there. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, that said, yeah, assuming they survive. Yeah, next poses and then mists away. Assuming that, yeah, and then disappears. Now, that's assuming these temporary hit points survive until his next turn. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get hit. I mean, either way, it's gonna be 29 health he doesn't take. Yeah, yeah that's true. Well, um, maybe I won't run then. <laughs> Why? I might, have, I might have to do this again. That's fair. To right. you. It's fucking a cleric backing up a giant robot. This is awesome. Uh, I love to do I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna use my dash action. Or my, hold on. I used my regular action. I still have a haste action. Yes. I'm gonna use that to dash 60 feet away. Burton Blood all... isn't a concentration, right? I don't think so, no. No. No, it is not. You kind of, most, you cool. kind of defeat the purpose to have a healing spell that gave hit points and that was mm -hmm. concentration because you're kind of expecting to lose those, you know? Yeah, um, there. Okay, so you're going to dash 60 feet away? Like, uh. Like up back to there? To, to my. Yes, exactly what I was thinking. Okay. I'll come back if you need help. <laughs> <laughs> His little just, feathers running help. around between the blowing up buildings, just being like, heal! 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 Fenris very much has an expression that says the cleric's work never ends. Like, she's like got that 24-hour that uh, emergency nurse dead pan eye. Quinn, what would you like to do? Weep! Woo! <laughs> and That's fair. Uh, I'd yeah, like to go, go 10 more feet on top of that because I'm using, uh, I'm going a total of 90 because I'm using one of the thingies from uh, 
the new fighter uh, reposition to bonus action dash. Gotcha. You are coming up to a river in the middle of the, the runs through the town. I can fly. You can. <laughs> it's true. Oh. Is that you, Quinn? Is that your turn? That's all. That's 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 action bonus action dash. <laughs> Good to have you here today, Cody. Miriam, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Miriam, roll me a perception check. I'm, gonna I'm, I'm so doing hard. about the same as him. <laughs> Lexi, also roll me a perception check. Oh my god, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> I oh, no, no, feel like I'm receiver. doing nothing. <laughs> nice. I think yeah. I might be a perceiver. Lexi, <laughs> you hear rustling coming from the tree line beside you as oh, you no. turn. You see that there's also a frame built soldier coming towards you, but also. There is stepping out this more hulking unit that vaguely reminds you of Flux, but doesn't uh, is far bulkier, much larger, carrying uh, with it this for it has this fortified steel armor on it that somehow both looks ancient and pristine, like it has this rigid, uh, very angular look that looks old and outdated, but the armor looks like it is almost untouched, barring a little bit of rust on parts. Carrying with it, it has a massive hammer that looks like it's made of some metal uh, that looks dense. Just looking at it, it looks heavy. And the head of this hammer is larger than you are. In the other hand, it is carrying what looks like this industrial metallic slender uh, almost war pick that has a massive hook. Uh, hooks down on the other side of it, the opposite side of the pick. At the bottom of it, you see that it is connected by this thick, heavy iron chain connected back to its waist. And on the shoulder of this thing, not that Lexi would know what a mounted grenade launcher looks like, but it has oh, something that no. looks something a little bit like this. Jesus. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> I want oh. to Photoshop a little flux head on the on that hulking body. Yeah, I think it'd be funny. Please do. That sounds Go ahead. Yep. <laughs> oh, it's oh, oh, it's not flux. Oh, medium. <laughs> Looking over that direction. As you look over towards it, you briefly hear a voice coming from the larger one, from the singular eye, glowing eye looking out towards you. You briefly hear, "Interference will not be accepted." Move! As that happens, Miriam, it is your turn. Uh, Look, looking at Miriam. <laughs> Those missile pods seem like they're done for the time being. I'm gonna kill them. Oh, okay. I'm gonna cast whole person on both of them. Oh. Are you old person on both of Interference! <laughs> Blue screens! <laughs> Heck yeah! <laughs> Will not be XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
It is now the pilot's turn. We can get the bunga mama, get my lights punched out. <laughs> it's true. So, I'm going to roll a d100 to determine what its priorities here are. No. Looking towards uh -oh. you, Orbis, my boy. Uh huh. It briefly regards you, and then it looks towards its own fading body, of which it's almost entirely dissipated. It is going to turn from you, and it looks out towards the serpent marker. No. Aww. Nay, nay. How far can you move? Your movement speed is... Quick, Avi, sentinel it! If you dash... <laughs> Avi's not there! <laughs> I'm fucking busy, bitch! <laughs> well, I'm Damn. sorry, it turns. It is going to leave uh, your uh, uh, your range. So just as a note, because it's leaving both of your ranges, you can have the DGR make an attack with its reaction, and you can make an attack with yours, but they have to respectively come from each of you. But it is going mm -hmm. this way. Very I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. I can't get past its damage threshold. <laughs> All right. I literally can't. Not with my current points. As it begins rushing out towards the serpent marker, buildings underneath it being uh, like having window uh, t windows shattering, roof tiles being ripped up as it moves in that direction just from the sheer force of it, flying 240 feet towards it. You see it raising up its hand and energy charging along it as it seems to be prioritizing that. With that said, that'll be its turn. Oh, actually? Ah, oh, no, you can't do that, can you? Nope. You're one of the few that can't. Avi, it's your turn. Lexi, uh, you're on deck. Oh, goodness. I actually okay, didn't cool. even notice it was my turn. Well, then. There, there's so much that happens beforehand, I, like, disassociated. Totally, it was I fun. understand. <laughs> no, it's all good. Well, I was like, for sure. oh, good. Oh, right. Oh, fuck. It's me. All right, cool. Well, I'm, I am I have those stabby things, you know, those, those things, those, those little, what what are they called? Those butter knives? I'm going to stab them with a butter Get knife. Get yeah. Them with butter knives. Playing Isla. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, now, now I just want, no, nah, I'll think about that later. <laughs> I want butter knives that look like Vox Victoria now in my kitchen anyway. Oh! I'm I'm a hit it. I don't, I don't think they'd be butter knives. <laughs> yeah. No. If anything, they'd be steak knives. <laughs> <laughs> oh damn. Did I get it? You did. Did I get it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy wow. shit. <laughs> That doesn't count as Hayden rolls a one, but that is definitely a Hayden rolls a oh, one. I wouldn't be mad at anybody if they counted that as Hayden rolls a one. Nah, <laughs> I'm gonna count it on my own sheet. Oh no, I don't have it. I just have Hayden cries, but I don't. It feel takes like that's nine a damage. Okay. Um. Uh -huh. dexterity. What? That hits. That's hot. Woo! Uh, while she like is going in for attacks, she is just gonna glance back at the Nephilim with her, just get out of here and find somewhere safe and just keep fucking hitting it. They begin scattering into the forest. As you yep. strike, you deal 15 more points of damage. Woo! All right, we got an extra attack, y'all. What, what do you get? Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Damn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's bad. Mm -hmm. And I got one more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get him. Fuck him up. I'm gonna try to get him. I believe. I believe. That's a hit. Yeah. <gasps> Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. Oh. Huh? Dead. Oh. Oh. Tis I got him. Dead. It is. Okay. 
Well, um, well, that's all my boop boops and my X or my bonus. All right, I, I'm gonna be a distraction. I'm a, do I wanna fly up at all or am I just gonna stay on the ground? Uh, no, I'm a, I'm gonna scoop forward ever so slightly because I'm trying to be a distraction. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right, that's that's it for the bird. I killed one. You did. Flux, get your ass over here, please. <laughs> <laughs> I will try. Oh, please. Oh, please. <laughs> I'm not as fast as everyone else. I'll well, try. Well, get better, I guess. <laughs> I'll work Damn. on it. Boost oh. your booster shoes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's me. The Imperator in front of you you see them reach their hand uh, back, and they, you see two of the spears that are floating behind their back seem to magnetize to their hand. They pull them and throw them up in the air. They come down and they strike into the ground, not where you are, but they strike. Where are you? I'm getting a blank token just to represent them. Could you not? Actually, wait, I have. Sick uh, if you didn't. Don't I have little mini... <clears throat> I think I might have a thing for this, actually. Give me one sec. <laughs> What's it called? Ripple. Shield? Uh, I don't. I thought I did, but I don't. Okay, just gonna throw... They come down in front of you, striking into the ground, kind of equidistant uh, from both of you. Let's see. As they do, you see both crackle with energy as this individual uh, grabs their great sword. That would actually be more like there. Grabs their great sword. They lift it up, turn it, strike it into the ground in front of them, and then very briefly look towards you, Avi. Obviously, you can't see any kind of expression on their face, but you do hear this metallic... I apologize that we have to do this. But if you would satiate my curiosity, I've been asleep a very long time. I wonder what kind of creature you are. She's not gonna say anything. <sighs> oh. If I told you that if you wished to, you could run, and that we would not pursue you, would you take that? No. I understand. Then, he is going to rush towards you. Let's see. As he does, Rather than fire at you, you see his other arm come up that's not holding the greatsword. His hand buckles down, and what looks like, and you've kind of seen something like this before because you saw a wrench, what looks like a grappling line with a hook on the end fires oh. out towards you. Uh, as, it, as it does, it, uh, it strikes just in front of you. He pulls himself. Actually, he's gonna do this reverse, sorry. Keep that in mind, keep that imagery in mind. Uh, he rushes over towards you. Takes his greatsword, strikes down at you with it, as he does, as he comes close. Uh-huh. He hits. Burger. He <gasps> brings the blade up. Aviana, you take. Are you going to do anything in... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a doge. You're going to dodge? Okay, so half. Uh, I'm a dodge. Nice. Half and down. Cool. GMGR, resist all. Boom, 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 boom. Brings it up. Strikes. You take six damage in total as he swings it across you. You see electricity arc along it, and as he swings it, with the momentum of the blade, he lets his body turn, fires that grappling hook back to where he was. It strikes into the ground, and in a way that avoids opportunity attacks, it pulls him back, <laughs> and he skids along the ground to where he was, uh, and then retracts the grappling line. I see we're playing, then. All right, Lexi, it is your turn. Bugga, bugga, bugga. You got some paralyzed opponents over there. <laughs> I do, so oh, I'm gonna shit. scoot towards them a little bit. 
I can't get all the way over there and also get a sword going, so I'm gonna go there and I'm gonna shoot him. And then hopefully Miriam can hold him for another turn and then I'm gonna fuck him up. But right now I'm just gonna try to shoot him. Gotcha. <laughs> okay, how about we'll, we'll target a boy? Uh, <laughs> I wish he was a bit farther back so I'd be like, uh, he has cover, he's behind the pee. Yo, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's real! <laughs> in the town. There's a big neon lights fucking everywhere. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Hollywood sign style fucking markers in front of everything. <laughs> oh. Alright, go ahead. Shoot him. Yeah. yeah, I figured I didn't have to Okay, yeah, but shoot you. Do you do? I think popped up. Because you have a bardic inspiration. <gasps> right. Right, 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 right. If you don't want to use it, then just like you just accept it. Uh, mm. I'll accept it. Right, click the button. That's a hit. Thank God. <laughs> Day. You had advantage, so you would have sneak attack. Oh uh, shit, you're right. Fuck, I'm stupid. You fire towards it, they take 15 points of damage. What? Okay, well, I'll, I'll use my snack on my next one. Hopefully, it will hit. Let's see if it's slowed as well as paralyzed. Sure, sure, go for it. <gasps> Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> this poor fucking thing. Fucking nah, AOL, don't like, dial up noise. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, so. Horrible if you're feeling form. ballsy, yeah. you can point blank arrow these guys without receiving disadvantage because they're incapacitated. True. Oh, really? But then no sneak attacks. Dang. No, they'd still have advantage. It won't give them. I still have advantage. Yeah, yeah. Oh. oh yeah. My death stroke only kicks in if I use a finesse weapon. Wouldn't matter. That so counts. They're, they're matter. paralyzed, and any paralyzed yeah. enemies incapacitated. And if you hit yeah. them with an attack within five feet then it's a critical. Oh my god. Hell yeah, I thought it was specifically the finesse weapon thing. I purposely like got it out and read it being like, you know, what can I do? If, if they're incapacitated yeah. or any other thing, yeah. but paralyzed is gonna make it even easier than normal. Heck yeah. Cool. Anywho, see if they're slowed. No bit. And whoopow! He not 20 Well. Ooh. I'm glad he succeeded that and not the thing Miriam's doing. Anywho. <laughs> no, he just makes saves uh, until their turn on my thing. Shoot the other boy. Let's make it, let's make it fair. Get the two, you fuck. <laughs> bow, 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 bow. Oh. I'm, nice. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. Are you sure? Uh, Are you sure that hits? I was gonna Are say, you sure 31 hits? It'll, pretty sure that hits if a 19 hits. <laughs> you don't know. Could have a weird effect. It's like on oh, the second attack each turn. <laughs> And then you plus 20 AC <laughs> for some know. reason. <laughs> oh, holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Remember to use snake. Each time they're hit with an attack, they learn. Oh, no. <gasps> <laughs> this guy's been hit a lot. The frame belt learn from their mistakes. You, tiny one, die. <laughs> tiny one or takes don't. 32 points of damage. Are you slowed? Is he? What a good question. I'll have to roll this oh, die no. to find out if he's... No. Yes. 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 Ha! Ah, hooray. Good. Yes, good. yes, 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 yes. Good. No to him. Yes to you. <laughs> 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 good. Yes, good. Okay. And I use my bonus action to fire twice, because that's what I want to do. So that's, that's, that's me for this turn. I'll, I'll, I'll scoot closer to him next time. Soldier 17 is the one going there, so they're going to end their turn and make the save against the two effects. <laughs> that makes sense. Here we go. Nat 20 against the arrow. <sighs> I mean... Seven against... Being paralyzed. That's that's the that's better good. Oh, that's the better <laughs> yes. That's good. It's good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> They're not sure. slowed, but they also can't move or attack or do anything. So hooray! Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely the better one, but it's just like, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So where are you? 
<clears throat> yeah. They're going to... Visually, Lexi just sees them start to get covered in amylite. She's like, yes! And it falls off like, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be helpful. <laughs> you are helpful. <laughs> 90% of the things I do literally exist to make you more dangerous. <laughs> it's <laughs> true, and I'm already pretty gross. The one that is <laughs> so standing like... behind the other two is going to back off from them slightly. As they do, they begin relaying information. Uh, they seem to look up towards Avi very briefly, and you you detect this faint flicker in their eyes, uh, as if they are as if moving. As if you can tell that they are, like, looking across you very quickly. Uh, as they do, you hear from behind them, uh, they start rhyming off information in a format that you don't immediately understand, Aviana. But you do catch that whatever they're relaying to the others, it is a rapid flow of tactical information, as they seem to be instructing the other two. Damn it. We're gonna go with... They're going to go with... As the two that are remaining and facing against you, they seem to acknowledge the information, and they both reposition themselves physically in such a way that they seem to be prepared to engage you. Their stance seems a little bit more defensive. We're then going to the Wallbuster! The Wallbuster's going to make a save against the effect that was on him. Boom! Are you paralyzed? He is still paralyzed! Hooray! Uh. The walking artillery is not, he's not moving for another turn. Back to the top <laughs> of the turn order, Excalibur. Help. They are going to move 120 feet. Are they within range? I got. They gotta get there and I gotta check their range. Do they have the same rule that like, if they use their movement, then like their movement to share with the pilot? Uh, yeah, then it is subtracted from the pilot, but it, on the start of the pilot's turn, they gain back up to whatever the pilot would have, yes. Gotcha. Are they within range? They are just within range. They get close enough that they are going to attempt uh. Uh, three attacks against the Serpent Marker. It's too fast. It's true. Mm. I'm just going to roll these rapidly. The first one they roll a three, they strike. Though they hit it, their hand seems to have less weight because of how much of it is dissipated uh, due to the effect that uh, they're on. So it doesn't manage to collide with as much force as they were hoping. I did not mean to throw that at the side of there. They go for the second attack. That one is a hit. They deal to the marker. Oh, that was against Orbis. Fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I'm gonna give... <laughs> None of that. We're gonna give back Orvis back 25 hit points. Thanks! Oh, that was in temporary. <laughs> so I'll have, I go up to 29 hit, uh, temp hit points. Boom. I'm gonna untarget him. He's then going to go for one final attack on it. It attempts to strike and oh, it crit! Ah. Oh, it brings no. back its hand. It strikes forward and it cleaves through that marker. In the distance, the you guys. thing where it shows the same swing like four times. Totally. <laughs> you guys all turn as everybody from where you are, you hear the impact and you see one of the markers in the distance get crushed as you see just the top of it collapsing down onto the ground. Unfortunately, uh, that is four markers destroyed. I wish I could do anything to it. Uh, four remain. I'm going to quickly throw a blank token to represent that damage. Get creative. You can do stuff. It's kind of. Where's your fighting spirit, Logan? Uh, it flew out the window when I didn't do any damage except for one attack. <laughs> now, because it's I can't exactly grapple it. It's ending so. its turn here. Uh, please 
Vogan, please roll me 1d6. Okay. Ah, it's a one. It turns, and it is going to look back towards... Uh, you see it seems to turn its attention towards the distant profit marker. You see chunks of its armor push out slightly and steam erupts from its body again. As it does, you hear this hum beginning to come from it and light begin erupting from inside, from the little bits you can see with how little is left of this thing physically. Uh, and as it does, it's it almost seems to distort. Like it becomes, oh, like the as if the RGB layers of the image of this thing were like slightly separating from each other in the space where it's standing. Yay. With that said, the sun, the sunders, uh, sunders, 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 Sunder is sundering. Sunder, sunder, sunder. He's up there. <laughs> Sitting there like a picturesque general, except really he's like. I wish I could get down from here. Yeah. <laughs> Flux, <laughs> your turn. Um, I'm gonna make sure Avi doesn't die. Uh, Thanks, so, Sam. Awesome. I got you. So I am going to bonus action dash. Uh, so that'll get me like 60 feet. There. there. Mm -hmm. So how far away does that put me from like the nearest guy? Once I move. Uh, oh, can you uh, confirm the move? Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. And we can also okay. assume that you descend with that as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. trying to intercept them. Okay. So, okay, okay. I could. I could do something here. So this Imperator guy is like 160 feet away. Mm -hmm. A fireball is 150 feet. So I think I could catch him a little bit. You could. Yeah, how, how would that work out? Uh, no, that's the wrong one. We're having very similar mindsets here, I want to tell you. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Fuck, I need to make sure I don't catch you in that. Um, Please. Oh. I think. Mm. If you gotta, do it. Oh, fuck. That's what evasion's not. there for. I was gonna say, I'm like, if I succeed. You moved with your regular movement. You could expedition retreat to try and get a little closer if you need to position no, it better, he, right? He bonus action. Oh, dashed. those are both combined? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That was Beans. as far as I can go without using my action as well. Um, I think this works. I probably wouldn't get that last guy, yeah, but I can get, get two those, of them. You can get those two. Yep. Hell yeah. Oh, fly it as far as I can. Just whip out my gun, just trying to aim carefully. <laughs> it's like, oh god, I really hope this works. Uh, <laughs> she wouldn't be mad if you hit her. Alright, rolling for both of them. First one fails. Yes. The Good. second one fails. Hell Beep. yeah. Are we not mad? I don't believe you. Crazy. She would understand. And fireball! Fire, a blast of flame erupts, Avi. You just see fire blast out from beside you. Uh, they're both caught. They both take 32 points of damage. I'm going to roll a concentration check for the one that is issuing orders. He has advantage, and he succeeds. Damn. Ow. Oh. Heck, yeah! It's that like was coming. hot as hell! It's true. <laughs> we should be okay! <laughs> I hope I didn't sting you! And that's me. No! Sajita! Just before you go, legendary action. Yep. Ooh, man. You hear this building electrical interference coming from the DGR. As you see it move forward and its entire body seems to shimmer, and again, it's the RGB layers, these like uh, blue, yellow, and green layers of it seem to shift apart from each other and rapidly snap together, and as they do, it vanishes. Oh! Ooh. 
Okay. As it does, it vanishes. There is this massive upheaval of wind as almost like hurricane level winds rush across the city in the direction it began to move. Lexi and Miriam, <laughs> you suddenly, it's gonna take a while to get there because of the map, but you suddenly see this thing pop into existence. No more than a couple hundred feet away from you. Huh. Oh, it's chugging along there. There it goes! It's moving Dude, very fast. Yeah, no. If we zoomed in on it real close, it's going very quickly. That's like, uh, he's zooming. Just... This all happens instantly, of course, in, in practice. <laughs> look at him go! Oh, no. Just look at him go! It should have started doing this. This is way more effective than its missiles. <laughs> 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 Gotta go for style. You though. turn uh, as Apparently. you see this. You follow where that upheaval of wind went, and you can see that it is now over there. Sajita, what would you like to do? Yeah. Okay. Apologize to your mech <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm sorry, bud. I didn't know it was unbeatable when I when we engaged it. <laughs> you didn't think the god slaying robot would be hard to fight? <laughs> of course not. It's very Vogan, honestly. No, yeah. that's right. <laughs> uh, um, I guess it'll use mock boost to. It speed doubles until the start of its next turn, and it immediately takes the dash action. Yeah. Um, Which makes its speed, uh, for the purposes of flying, 120 feet, and you're dashing, so you can go 240 immediately. Yeah. I will do so. All right, let's... Uh, you rock it off from where you are, heading towards it. Yeah. I am also going fast. <laughs> I'm going very quickly. We're just zoomed out very far. I'm going very fast. The hot blood going through us fast. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. That puts you 360 feet away from him. That's all I can do. Note that you do have the great bow. You did just use your action, but just as a note that the DGR does have its great bow. So Vogan could use that on his turn. And that yeah. thing goes up to... Uh, that thing goes up to 600 feet. It will have disadvantage, yeah. um, mm -hmm. but it it can do that. Okay. All right. Is that that's him. That's its then, turn. Then Vogan. Uh, Vogan's gonna use his bonus action to use its the DGR's enhanced targeting. Uh, so it's not gonna take movement for the remainder of it of the turn. Uh, but all range attacks, a uh, range weapon attacks, it makes. Uh. Uh, up to its weapons long range are made without disadvantage. Okay. So, we'll use our artillery great bow on it without disadvantage. Which is Go for it. Roll that. Yeah. that yep. is, that's a miss. Yeah. Second attack. Oh! oh. Fires. Uh, Vogan and, or so not Vogan, Miriam and Lexi, you see the proto DGR as it uh, appears looming large over the area where you are. Bolts of energy begin firing at it and just bouncing harmlessly off the back. You got one more, right? No. No? It's two, two three range melee attacks. attacks or two range attacks. Yeah. Right. Hold mm -hmm. on. Let's. One second, I'm just gonna check on that relatively junction before when you junks me. You gotta take mm 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 hold on. Um Yeah. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see anything else besides I was that, just checking. so yeah. mm hmm That's me. Vogan? Yeah. Roll me one D six. Yeah! Six! Oh, just one piece of pie left! <laughs> oh, oh. oh a, no! It's, it's a full dead. pie! F the pie is oh, ready! No, Everybody run! It's a full pie! As, it, as you strike <laughs> it, 
<laughs> as you strike it, you notice the, the wings on its back kind of fall off of it and dissipate into that golden energy. The entire thing lists forward slightly. It looks up and it begins moving out across the area, reaching its hand towards the marker as if it's trying to do something to it. As it does, it then stops briefly. You see, those of you on the ground, you see its head shift and it moves down and it seems to, uh, though it seems almost impossible to follow where this thing's gaze would be. Lexi, you feel as if it is staring straight through you. Uh. Aye. So you are here after all. Lexi oh. Hendricks! Ah! Come to Vathis Bay! What? Why? Come to see the consequences of your own actions. I'll be waiting there for you. As it says this, chunks of its body split apart and begin to disintegrate. You don't know me, but I know you well. Come find me. Diather has been waiting a very long time. Are, I won't be kept you... waiting any longer. Are, okay. I was gonna check if you were death and you were talking in third its person, but you were! It begins segmenting <laughs> into golden chunks. Oh. As it entirely dissipates, and the divine intervention to remove it and send it elsewhere finally <sighs> takes hold. Oh. And it vanishes. Look back at Mary, I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Real fucking that was a clutch six. Oh! oh what uh. timing? God damn. We still have robots Fuck. to deal with, it's though. True. So. Yeah, yeah. It's fine, because now we have the biggest robot. <laughs> yeah, get him, big robot. I'm on my way. Robot yeah, has become oh. big, big. I am big, big. <laughs> He's big, big. Uh, oh, sorry, guys, I couldn't get rid of all of them. Oh, my I am God. Orbis, big, Fuck. big. Do I have it? Sorry, when I was oh, talking to good. my God, I didn't fucking <laughs> specify all the robots. Yeah, no. Okay. Was more than one. Yeah, you're good. I know. I just that wanted said, to be That uh, said, this frame built that is down here, <laughs> uh, one of the ones near Avi. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm so oh, tired. into character. <laughs> just chain. Like, Logan, I'm what? over it. <laughs> I'm just it, is, over it. it is going to fire its here. bolt launcher at you twice. <laughs> the first time, it fires as if expecting exactly what your movements would be, and it does hit. Okay. So Stupid AI <laughs> learning oh, technology. <laughs> Is there um, uh, anything you'd like to do in response to the hit? No. Okay. Well, then, I guess it's just going to roll damage, isn't it? I guess so. So it fires. Uh, it deals a total of three damage to you. It's going to fire another one that does not have advantage. This one misses as it fires right. bolts in towards you. It also looks up towards where Flux is uh, as if scanning the sky. Fenris, it is your turn. Hobo, oh okay, a lot Quinn, just happened. There. My my biggest concern okay. <laughs> just di disappeared. Hashtag thank you to Quinn. My god is good. Um, hashtag blessed. Hashtag, okay, blessed. hashtag blessed. Hashtag my god is an awesome god. Um, <laughs> where can I hear shit going down? What, what conflict is currently? Uh, at this point, obviously... all the fights that are going on are far too far away for you to hear them. I guess I would start rushing over to where I last saw... Uh... The Big Big before it glittered away. That's fair. I guess to meet up with Lexi and Miriam. Is that, uh... And just use... Haste action, dash, and movement all move? Yes. Okay, so we're going to throw you 180 feet forward. That would put you about here. 
as you begin moving towards the central town area, moving roughly around towards the uh, where the statue of Vestius is. Um, that's a pivoting point here, so Get it, Barry. next turn you can turn. Um, that's you? Yep. All right. Quintus, Miriam, you're on deck. I go there. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Fair. I go there and I go up into the air slightly. I'm like, Bogan, take me with you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Sorry, trying to flag I'm him down. Preoccupied. Take me with you. <laughs> wow. I can't hear you over my massive thrusters in the in my leg. I'm way too loud for you to not be able to hear me. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I really can't. <laughs> Here, let me get closer so I can see. <laughs> uh, that, that's you, Miriam. Yeah, that's me. I, that, that's that is all. <laughs> I mean, it's a new day. It's a new dawn. I was thinking it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's laser somebody. Oh, frick! What's that? Kettle. <laughs> Gonna laser somebody. You would fail the stick stereo saving throw. Don't they auto fail if they're paralyzed? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's what we're doing. Great. <laughs> well, that's just great. That's fantastic. We're, we're getting them. <laughs> like... That's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> eh. It's gonna make this save. It's gonna auto fail. And it's a good thing that it did because it would have succeeded. Oh shit. Oh. Nice. 69! Oh. <laughs> That's 69! Hell yeah! Miriam damage. That's some Miriam damage right there. Yeah. Ah, uh, Miriam will fire that. And. That's it. <laughs> That's Miriam. Fair. Alrighty. <laughs> oh. And off. And it's back. Sweet. You rolled it's a back. six. <laughs> All right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you reload it. Surge. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Yeah, that's Miriam soon. <laughs> Fire a wave of disintegrating energy towards it. Avi, it's your turn. All right. Well. All right, it's the, these these a holes are clocking my moves, and I don't like that. So we're gonna do something <laughs> not barely. stabby, because not a fan. I don't not a fan of these boys. Not a fan. Honestly, I'm mm. over it. Honestly, mm -hmm. I'm really fucking. I've been over it. <laughs> the ugh was nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're in twenty. Sweet. Nice. These boys are getting howling flashed. Oh. Yeah. Ba boop, ba boop, ba boop. All right, here they go. Ba boop, ba boop. Here they go. Success. Four. Natural 20, success. Four. Fail. <laughs> you know, if that's the, yeah, that's the boy who was given the fucking orders, this works out for me. Take, oh, yeah. take 2d10 thunder damage, you whore. You slut. He takes. Seven, he makes a concentration check with advantage. He succeeds. What a bitch. But oh. he's blinded, mm -hmm. so I will pick that. Nice. Nice. Okay. And, well, that's just my bonus action. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna I do a little, little, little flutter by butterfly here. No, I don't want to get bigger. That's the right. <laughs> Eh. <laughs> You're doing your best. You got this. <laughs> a bit. A bit. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Moving down there. Hibbe. You will move into and out of the range of the Imperator whenever you do so. All right, fuck me up. Let's go. All right. He is going to take a swing at you, and he's going to have advantage. He crits. But I'm gonna yeah. do do one of these boys, because. <laughs> You know? Cause you know him. Cause, ow. You take. Four. 
uh, what looks like 15 points of damage. I, you know what, bet, that's fine. It's not gross crit damage, so let's go. That's weird. You should have taken none, actually. Mark it all off. Like, you didn't take any. All right. Oh, I God, how many I did I? Oh. Just regain 15. Yeah, I was like, how many did I have? I don't know why I didn't do its thing. Oh, maybe it's because Blissful Ignorance is none. Oh. Uh. But yeah, now you're there. Now you walk, you go by. He strikes at you. You manage to just avoid the blade, and you get over to there. Sweet. All right. Cool. Die. <laughs> uh, Vox Victoria attack number one. That is. That is a hit. Whoa. All right, and. Wonderful. Wappa. He's gonna make a concentration check. Here he goes. Look at him go. He he succeeds. Bitch. Well. Well, little bitch. Die. That is a hit. Whoa. I almost, I almost <laughs> rolled it onto myself. <laughs> <laughs> You deal, he, you deal what, 12 damage, and then he succeeds. All right, cool. Well, I have one more. Get him. Fine. So please die. That is a miss. Oh. oh. Mm. With well. With advantage, Avi. With advantage. You will leave Avi alone. <laughs> hey, it's not a one. So, you know, uh, shut the fuck up, missed all his attacks in his giant robot. Leave me alone. Damn! Oh, I'm sorry. I was fighting a giant robot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what's your, what's your excuse? It's a giant robot! Mm, not <laughs> sound like enough for me. Good I mm, I mm, nah. It's a god-slaying <laughs> robot! Oh, uh, now you're just like Oh, okay. <laughs> 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 exactly. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I love you. Uh, yeah. uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, ah, shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, that's all my movement. Oh, wait, I could have lucky that. Can I lucky? You wanna? Yeah. Go ahead. I, I forgot, and then I was looking at my sheet. I was like, oh yeah, I have that. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I get you. I feel you. Oh! Oh! What a good lucky! Oh! Wait, I have advantage. You still have sneak attack? Yeah. I have advantage. What a oh, dear strange God. mythical land we found ourselves in. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? So you like I said, die. Guy. Lucky's not a punishment? <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> I, I just don't use it because it's mean to me. <laughs> it's understandable. I get you. Please explode. Oh. Die. Oh, no. You, Yay! Oh! you have no idea how much grief you just saved yourself. Yeah, oh. I had a feeling. Oh. So I was like, oh, you're saying words? I'm going to stop you from saying words. You also forgot to mark crit. So. Yeah. You should have done more damage, but you yeah, know, whatever. Oh it's dead. God. It's dead. So. Whatever. It's, dead. it's fine. It's fine. So now I'm done. Okay. <laughs> As they're struck no. down, the frame built, <laughs> uh, the Imperator turns, and they have a audible moment as they see the blade drive through the uh, the peritum, uh, where you see their their head go up in a moment of panic, and you hear, "No, we had to finish this." As he seems genuinely grief stricken that his ally has just fallen in combat, <clears throat> you hear. What sounds like a breath, what sounds like, it's more of just a physical reaction, but you hear almost the sound of teeth clenching without it. You hear just a as they rush towards you, Aviana, in a momentary fit of rage. <gasps> Barbarian. No. B -b -b just mad. Barbarian. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. He gets mad. He's a barbarian, Present. obviously. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be mad unless you're a barbarian. How many? Look at Avi. That's why I had to take the dip. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was mm -hmm. too mad all the time. Like, the mechanics forced me to. It's mm -hmm. true. <laughs> As it does this. Let's see. 
You see two of the uh, things from its back fire off as it rushes towards you. Need to grab more blank tokens. Blank. Blank. Actually, okay, the order is going to do these in, so these are there. Uh, as it rushes towards you, it's going to make one attack at you. It's going to swing its greatsword. And it hits, but it's glancing. Whoa, I'll take it. It strikes, dealing four points of damage. As it does, you see two of the spears, the javelin-like spears on its back, fire off on their own, strike into the ground beside it as it turns and fires that grappling line back, skids away from you again, pulling itself out of your reach without you able to react to it. As it seems to drive the greatsword into the ground as it moves to stop itself from sliding too far, it looks up towards you. The mission isn't necessarily failed yet. There are other groups of us. But I commend you, you're very quick. You're very efficient. What's your mission, huh? Enlighten me. It should be obvious by our actions. We are removing the Nephilim from the table. Doing as little damage as possible to their people, as it were. But ensuring that they're distracted. So they cannot continue to interfere with the operations of the family for our attempts to reawaken the Proto-DGRs. You're gonna find success difficult here. Maybe. With the damage that we've done, surely many of the Nephilim will not be able to turn away as they have to repair their city. But you're right. Whatever happened to Excalibur was unexpected. We, perhaps, underestimated you. But also, we didn't expect that you would all be here at this time. Hmm. I'll make Sounds a request like of you. Oh. There is no point in needless death. You have already taken one of my group from me. Would you allow myself and my ally to leave? Without the one that you just defeated, we're not much of a threat to you. I'm sorry, but I can't let you do that. Might not kill you outright. But I have someone on the way who might have some questions. We can't allow ourselves to be taken alive. Not when you have the Navigator. So be it. Lexi! What are you doing? Job, job, gonna be scooting. You scooting? Yeah. <laughs> Into the danger <laughs> zone. <laughs> uh, Maram, you said I could, I can, I can still like point blank these boys with. with you only with have disadvantage on yeah. ranged mm -hmm. weapons within five feet mm -hmm. if okay. they're not incapacitated. But if they're paralyzed, cool. they're incapacitated, so you're fine. <gasps> yeah. Fucking boot to you. Let's get the big boy first. Again, if it is like an automatic crit, do I hit the crit button before I roll my attack, or what do I do? Yes. Okay, just check. Well, maybe? not your attack, your damage if you hit. My damage? Okay, cool. Not my attack. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. You strike. Oh, you. Did you accept that? I mean, you want you crit. Yes, I accept that. <laughs> I crit. <laughs> then accept it. All right, now press the crit button, then roll your damage. But and also add your sneak I have attack. advantage, so I get sneak attack. Yeah. Gross. Disgusting. Get hard on a rogue is one of the most dangerous things you can go mm -hmm. across. I'm very glad I can do it. You deal 87 oh! points of damage. Die. Yuck. Right. Well, He's my term. Mm -hmm. Is he slowed? From. <laughs> On top of all of this. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> roll it. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yep. 
Hell yeah. <laughs> oh my God. It means very little with the whole person, but I still Ball like Buster's to know. No good, very bad day. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. Smaller boy, die. <laughs> Smaller boy. <laughs> That's a hit, and it's not on grid. Oh, Do you shit. have amyloid? Yeah, you would. You would have amyloid arrows left, totally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, even after I use these two, I still have one left. Yep. Hit crit. Heckin I did. No snack on this boy, but I can die. You fire towards them. The upper part of their body is effectively blown <laughs> clean off of it, leaving just like, uh... You instant transmission Kamehameha him is effectively what happens with that. <laughs> yeah. As he is blasted back. As he does, you see that the wall buster has a visceral, like, immediate reaction as if their body tightens up, and you hear just a muffled <laughs> as if to become enraged at that happening. Oh, because of real rage. <laughs> Which is going to turn back to Sure you want to mess with me? Ah! <laughs> 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 rah, rah, she's 4-3. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. Uh, that's my turn. It wobbles Stay in the danger zone. Like, rrr, 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 falls on you. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> right. help. Its turn is next. It's going to have to waste it doing all its stuff. Uh, did you apply the rock effect to it? Oh, I didn't. You heck, didn't. heck, heck. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. I was too busy shooting the small one. This. One sec. It failed. You're not doing your job today, are you, Wall Buster? Nah. Get it. No. Ain't busting any walls down. In my tower, you can't have it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll him a wisdom save. I'm just going to put it back to his turn and then end it again. I'll skip the other one. Uh, this one is another both wisdom. Fuck, I don't know which one is which. Um, oh, uh, no. <laughs> I'll assume they're in the order they're on on his sheet. The bottom one's probably the arrow. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He failed, so he yeah, failed both. Right. Um, hooray! Hooray! Slow realized. Amazing. Sunder! Yeah! Flux! Can he? Wait. He's gonna steal the deck. What? What do you want him to do? Can, <laughs> Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> can he use the hill rune uh, to gain resistance to bludgeoning damage and then. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah. Yes, and then he will be on the other side of a large wall and have to walk out the other side and then jump off another cliff and then walk. Oh, <laughs> never mind then. Every time it cuts to him, it's just like a wide shot of him small enough to be a dot just jumping off a cliff. Just. <laughs> this, place is, this place is not built for feet hammers. <laughs> Get good, I guess. All right, Flux. For Game. land walkers. Um, definitely going to, let's see, at the very least, uh, bonus action dash. Get closer. Um, from what I can see uh, over here, does it look like they've, like, paused to talk, or are they still basically... A bit. Just, like, A lot of that was happening, like, mid-action, but you wouldn't... You'd barely, you wouldn't really be able to read Avi's lips from there, and there's no indication mm -hmm. that the Imperator's doing anything. It looks like he retreated, and they're sizing each other up is more the vibe. Gotcha. Okay, so it doesn't look like they've, like, attained a ceasefire or anything. No. Oh, hell gotcha. Yeah. All right, then, uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's gonna feel real bad, but he's just gonna kind of whisper, like, please forgive me, and, uh, oh. fire another oh. shot. <laughs> To be able to flux to roll perception these guys make sure to avoid the civilians <laughs> sure. uh perception there we go okay go ahead hey oh, that was ominous uh let's see um that did it go yep i have to I, I have to make it roll oh gotcha sorry so, half on the Imperator boy, and the other. Uh, the other one failed. Flux. 
Roll your roll your damage. Oh no! Oh, it was your brother, Flux. He you knows that it's <laughs> he's tearing himself up inside. Uh, but they're on opposite sides of a war. The other one ah. is blasted and destroyed. The one that remains, Flux. You have a brief moment now that you're close enough to make out who it is. Uh, you have a brief moment where as they turn to you, although they're wearing different armor now, in that way that frame build would be able to recognize minor differences in each other, you recognize this individual as one of the frame built that was in attendance in the vision you had during the time heist. <gasps> oh. Whenever you were placing the uh, green gem, primal gemstone into the heart of by the way, what didn't you now maybe know wasn't actually the Sword of Damocles briefly because it wasn't the right scale. Um, <laughs> but you recognize this individual as having been one of the frame built that was there, not the one you were talking to, but one that was there when you were doing so. Gotcha. Were there a bunch of guys there that looked like him, or was he like the only guy with that design? Or I, I just like again, you the you would details. recognize the minute differences between them, like gotcha. frame built. You know, it's this is not an all frame built look alike situation. You can you can distinguish if two that look exactly the same to other people stand beside each other. You you can be like, no, you definitely are different. Like fucking look, you got them the fucking your curves are like slightly more tapered. Like you got the fucking no, no. <laughs> roger, Roger. Then uh, with horror, I think he's going to. Hold off on firing any more shots and just try and make a beeline uh, to tr hopefully try and get a word in and get some answers. But like, oh, he is very confused and sad and mad at himself. And he didn't, he didn't know what's going on. But that is his turn, I think. All right. So oh, he would have gotten a bit lower during his movement, actually. You can lower well. him. Um, Orbis! What do? Yeah. Quinn wanted something, I guess. Uh, you so don't have to. I was gonna fucking start blasting, but if you're, you if you're really well to. enough. Alright, good. Uh, I'm gonna move. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what a team player, everybody. Where are you moving? <laughs> Just 60 feet that way. Mm. And now I am not, I am within the 600 feet, 600 foot range of my great bow. You are. <laughs> Towards the one I'm targeting. But like, he yeah. just sees like a blast of energy in the distance just coming like, oh, what's that? What's that coming oh, to the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm getting <laughs> away! <laughs> uh, okay. Sorry! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Uh, Just over a <laughs> megaphone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. It's gonna use its bonus action to use the enhanced targeting thing. Yep. Uh, to not gain disadvantage. So this should have advantage on it. Because he it's is paralyzed. paralyzed. Yes, hit advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fine. That hits. Woo! Oh yeah, get him. You deal oh. 32 points oh. of damage as an arc of light comes down and strikes through it like like a spear, remaining in its body for a second as it twists it while it's standing. It barely oh. manages to remain standing. Second attack. Oh my god. Oh, oh my oh. god. Oh. It crit. If the DGR crits, do I get my focus points? Thing. It counts as you, uh, so mastery. yeah. Okay, sick. Take it. Nice. All right. Oh my god. And, that, and now no one will ever get to know what this does. There <laughs> 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 was only the one. <laughs> he, is, yeah. he is of an extinct breed now. <laughs> no, no. The, the one wall buster. <laughs> Our most rare and beloved type of fucking frame build. <laughs> Don't you take him off of the map. I want his grenade gun. He's gone. He's, he's blown up. Listen, he just no! got crit by an artillery great bow. Let me repeat that. Artillery great bow. He is mangled. 
is what he is. I told him, I told him not to mess with me. <laughs> I'll show him. I've got powerful friends in high places. <laughs> Waves at Boggin. Hi, Boggin! Hi! Yeah. Right. Waves at GDR's massive pinched. arm. Is that, is that Orbis? I believe so. Boggin! Amazing. All right. <laughs> Let's see how far away those other guys are. I believe they're past 600 feet. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, that's 800, oh <laughs> over 800 God. feet, almost 900 oh, feet away. So I can't really. I <laughs> uh, yeah, I can't really, can't really do anything. I can't move anymore because of the enhanced targeting. All right. Um, that's me, I guess. All right, Fenris. From your perspective, zoom, you zoom. saw him shooting Time down to toward. My friends. You saw him shooting towards the profit marker. You wouldn't have known the outcome of those shots. Was... I guess I would just keep running over there. I mean, that's the last place I saw conflict. Oh man. So I think I would just keep going. Uh, kind of keeping an eye out to see if, like, there are any signs that my friends have moved, because I know my friends and they will not stay in one place it's even if you true. beg them to. <laughs> you are <laughs> they're all hundreds of feet away. There's not really much you can do regarding looking for signs of movement. I know. Well, <laughs> that's my turn. Quintus, I'm Miriam, just you're on deck. Zooming around the city. Eh. <laughs> get on! I will fly over and I will go shopping. I will get over. I will mount. I will mount Vogan. <laughs> just full arms and legs, just like extended. That starfish just suctions to the side. Just, <laughs> go! <laughs> it's that. It's that Ochako, uh, like attached yeah. to the to, like the nuclear bomb. The missile. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's me. <laughs> Bobby, you're on deck. Okay. I will look around and see if there's any more sneaky little frame built in the trees. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Roll me a perception check. All right, that's me for now. <laughs> Yeah, it seems clear. Uh. <laughs> Avi? Uh huh. Your turn. Oh, God. Okay. Well, I could see what happens if I step in between these things. <laughs> just, just try it. I feel like I'm going to die, but you know what? <laughs> I'm so tempted to do it anyways. <laughs> oh, wow. Maybe you could fly over it? Well, I, I want to I wanna hit him. <laughs> Oh, Ryu I know, you're hungry! I know! <laughs> you're hungry, Ryuji. He's very hungry. Alright. Um, oh, <laughs> dude. <laughs> Alright, I gotta pet him with one hand and use my other hand. <laughs> use my left hand. Multitask. <laughs> Multitask. Yeah. Uh, well. I want. I want advantage on you. So I'm gonna flash victorious too. This can only go well. It's fine. I'm gonna be fine. Surely. Roll me a dexterity check. Cool. Oh. I believe. Oh wait, no. I just have advantage on dex saving throw. So dex check here. Again. As you throw. Right, I'm lucky. Uh, are you gonna do anything with that? I, I'm I'm a lucky. Will you okay. just shut the fuck up? Come here. Shouldn't have started describing. Side. You know something's up. Whew. I'll look. I'll I'll look. Take the sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> As you throw the Vox Victoria towards him. Uh, it you briefly see just as it passes by it a flash of thunderous energy of sound erupt between two of these markers that have been created, but it manages to get past it without issue. So yes, you get beside him, you have advantage, you appear, go ahead. Okay. Um, and I'm going to do a bap. 
Bam. And that's us. Okay. I have a I have a decision here to make. Do I want to sneak a trick or do I want to try to seizing strike this boy? You know what? I don't. I'm gonna attempt a seizing strike, cause flux is on the way. And you know what? I can hold my own for a bit. I think. Oh, you just crushed yourself. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I can't believe how dead you are. Oh my god. Uh, I know, it's fine. Save coming at you. I just Hayden, didn't I? It succeeds. Oh, no. I sure did. That's uh, fine. It's, it's fine. I'm still gonna do a boatload of damage. Die. D. You do 11 fine. damage. That's a boatload. That's, that's a boatload. It's, it's, it's in here, ho. And <laughs> <laughs> hey, I kill like almost two average people. Exactly, and I'm trying to have him not kill average people. <laughs> that's that's my goal here. Anyway, I, uh, I need dexterity. Yeah. Well, Oof. I hadn't. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> Mark your bingo. As you do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last attack coming at him. That wanted to be a twenty. I'm I'm burning my last lucky because you know what? <laughs> Fuck it. Sure. Get him. Okay. <laughs> plus Better. nah, plus twelve. So it would be twenty four. You gonna take that? Yeah. Okay. You hit. Yay. <laughs> Okay. You deal 14 well, points of damage. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get through, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to not die scooting my boot out of here. I'm, no. I'm an attempt. Alrighty, I'm gonna have to have you, have you make a save. Okay. As you what rush towards it, save? make me the strength save. Ah, okay. Hmm. Hey -ya! Aiden? Well, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> As you rush to get out, <laughs> love me oh. as I am, Spencer. <laughs> it, that wave of sound blasts you. You take six d8 thunder damage. Oh! Oh! You take thirty-four and are blasted back ten feet. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, now I know what that does. Well, that's me. Is that yeah, that's you? As you are blasted back and you skid to a stop. I actually have to check. That doesn't knock you prone, does it? Oh, no, please. Um, no, no. If it does, Flux, I need you to move very fast. You are not Roger, knocked Roger. As Thank you are knocked fuck. back, though, you see the frame built seems to braise up their great sword. The two halves of it sort of unslot and separate slightly, and electrical energy runs up the center of it. He's gonna, now that he's got you in here, he's going to like briefly look up in the direction where Flux is in the sky, look towards you. My survival is no longer an option. Sorry about this. And he is going to attack you. All right. Yeah, gotta get to his turn. He's gonna make three greatsword attacks. Okay. How rude. True. Why does he have advantage? Oh, I remember now. I remember. I remember. It's because he's below half hit points. I'm very sorry about this. He crit. Oh. I'm gonna uncanny dodge because uh, I've had a yeah. turn. That's what mm. we save those for. <laughs> sure, mm -hmm, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's on me. Fuck me up, fam. He's also going to do no. extra lightning damage on his attack, so here's this. I'm so glad I'm not vulnerable to that anymore. Yeah, he, he, yeah. 41 reduced down to 20 points of damage as you are struck electrical energy courses around in an arc as he swings towards you and strikes. Uh, he is going to go for two more of those. He strikes again. Mm -hmm. That one's a miss. And mm -hmm. then he strikes again. Mm -hmm. And that one's a hit. All right. You take. 25 points of damage from that attack as he cuts you and then an arc of electricity like carves through you and then also streams along the ground behind you, cutting all sorts of little paths into the dirt as it discharges. 
Oof. And he's going to... Fire his grappling line there. Oh, your dick. You use your reaction anyways. Yeah, I know. He fires it, he's pulls him over there quickly. He skids to a stop. All right, so since Avi and Flux are the only ones close enough to really properly engage, I'd just like to know across the board, uh, Lexi... Yeah, so Lexi, what would you like to do? Is there anything you'd like to do over where you are? I'd probably scoop back to Miriam. Like, back on protector duty. Okay. Like, I can't... Yeah, I can't really think of anything. Like you said, fucking, it's pretty much just Avi and Flux that are over there. We're so far away. And then Sunder is going... <laughs> Sunder is going to do Sunder things. That's true. Flux! Oh. Uh, just to reiterate what I already definitely know. I can't non lethally, like, firebolt a guy, no. right? No. I can't, like, <laughs> shoot him in the knee only, or something. Only melee attacks can be non lethal. <laughs> only melee weapon attacks. <laughs> oh, just listen, melee listen. attacks. God damn. All right. Oh, Ron, I guess. I guess I'll, I'll get that far. He put a bird in a cage. I'm mad about it. <laughs> Good. Good to get him. Wow. Cage of emotions. <laughs> that's all. A that, that's a constant. Down there. And <laughs> I guess I will make an attempt. Like, I'm holding my gun at him. But, like, please, will, will you yield and answer some questions? I don't want to hurt you. It briefly looks up to you, looks down, and you see it has two of those javelins left on its back. It raises its arm up and they float behind it, pointed in the direction its arm is pointing towards Aviana. You hear this magnetic whirring sound as if a magnetic field is building up around them. Oh, God. Yeah, he's, uh... He's, he's gonna hit him. Like, he feels terrible, but he also definitely can't let his own feelings get in the way of his friends staying alive. I'll be fine! I know, I'm not 100% certain of that fact, and I'm not gonna <laughs> chance it. The numbers yeah. don't look great. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna fireball him. I'm gonna keep Avi out of the line, Ooh, out of the ring. No! Why do you want to <laughs> die? I'm stuck. You know, Spencer, I see the joy in this now. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> oh, don't I just start. Want my friends to win. <laughs> Yo. They not won. Almost as if Ooh. they do not intend to dodge at all. This oh. is. I hate this. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't flip that this. dice upside down. <laughs> Just gotta make it through this. See? You blast them, fire roars across them, parts of the trees are scorched as you see them stagger down as if they fall to one knee from the blast. And remaining in this 20-foot radius section of burnt wood, they stand back up and point their hand again towards Avi. I've already used my bonus action. Uh, but yeah, that's that, that's my turn. All right. Okay. So, uh, both of Vogan's turns, Fenris's turn, Quintus's turn, Mariam's turn. Everyone down to Avi. Is there anything that you'd like to do? We can just handle them collectively. What would you like to do? Yeah, you're going wherever uh, he goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I feel like um, I only need a turn to get closer to get in firing range, at least. Mm -hmm. of Fair. That. So I'll just use uh, my turn to dash forward with the with the mock boost. Uh, okay, so Quinn, can you hang on? That's <laughs> We're about to go real fast. I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> Followed immediately oh by. <laughs> 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 It's the Toy Story thing again. Yes. Yeah. 
Wow. Okay. Just wow. There they go. Uh, yeah, I only need. Uh, uh, I'll burn my last fourth level on Dimension Door, Lexi, and I'm back on top of the Sun Keep. Oh. Why did? Like, yeah. Why did they disappear? What the fuck? Did they? Am I just not seeing them? Where are they? There they are. Oh, they're just real tiny on the map. Okay, we're good. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you're dimensioning door and then back to the top of the sun keep? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I feel like Benerus would cast sending to Lexi, basically to say like, hey, let's, uh, I don't know what's going on. Let's meet up. Where are you? And with the intention of meeting up with them and basically telling them all that information I got so that I'm not the only person who knows anymore. You <laughs> definitely cannot do all of that in 25 words. Nope. I, no, 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 no. Like, I, I want to meet up with you guys and then tell you. To do that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Oh. Oh, I can respond, That's right? That's what I would oh, be doing. Okay. Uh, Miriam just brought us back to the sun keep. <clears throat> right? Yeah, that's where we are. That's all I need. Yep. I don't need more than that. <laughs> well, meet you there. Hey. Ticky tacky tacky wiki wacky ticky tacky. <laughs> 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 Donuts. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine they see like the roadrunner cloud of dust of Fenris running through the town to where they are hasted. Just like. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Meet me. All right. Aviana, yeah. your turn. Okay, well, I figured out what I can do to get out of here, assuming this works. So, I'm gonna steal wind strike, so I can Ooh. choose a target, and then I can teleport to it, assuming this can. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a melee spell attack against him. Get him. I closed my eyes. That's a miss. Fuck. Fuck. Well, yeah. I have. But I mean, he's not dodge. <laughs> <laughs> dice disagree. Uh. <laughs> oh, however, I can tar I can teleport to an unoccupied space I can see within five feet of one of the targets I hit or missed. Yeah, sure. So it's oh, you're, you're out of cage. Yeah, totally. Exactly, that was the plane! Oh, uh, yeah, I, I was totally, yeah. I don't want to be a crispy I mean, bird. Said, well, you said you were closing your eyes, so you can't really see. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! <laughs> wow. I'm gonna kill the Vogan, kill the Vogan. Get him. Oh, uh, well, that was I'm your gonna. Action. Yeah, I'm gonna bonus action disengage? And I'm gonna run away. <laughs> or at least get to, like, here. Bye, buddy. Peace. Cool. Cool. Because I can't bap him and I don't want to be in bapping range. It's a good call. So that's Aviana Kolesh. Yeah. All right, so that's you? That's that's her. She is just silently doing these things. She know that she can't she knows that she can't really reason with it at this point. He's going to chase Hi. you down as he does. He is going to, uh, the remaining two uh, javelins that he has, he points his hand up, they fire, you see two of them return back to him as these two new ones land like so. Oh, you're so annoying. As he grinds to a halt, skids, puts both hands on the great sword and swings toward you. Woo! Wah! That's a miss. Okay. Oh my god. All right. Uh, so wrapping back. So Lexi, I assume you're just sort of j do doing the do over there. Yeah. All right. Wrapping back to Flux. <laughs> Flux. Oh my god, this sucks. <laughs> you're evil. No, this Flux. <laughs> <laughs> are they evil or are they following orders? Uh, no, not Logan. Logan is evil. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna try to get it. Granted. <laughs> so what's yeah, your turn? Allow it. So what are you yeah, doing? Allow it. 
If he's continuing to attack Aubrey, I, I gotta try and stop him. And all of my shit is so lethal. I have a heal or I'm murder not thing. Just not everything I have inflict pain. I'm just so I'm violent. There, there's the spear things, I guess. You fire a oh, fireball down so You hit. Oh. I never wanted a nat one more. Why am I oh. so good at murdering? <laughs> You blast him, he takes 19 points of damage, he stumbles briefly, stops, staggers as his like greatsword seems too heavy for a second, and then his whole body becomes wreathed in electricity and the internal glows of his uh, technological components reignite back to life as he pulls himself back up and grabs his sword again. Please stop. <laughs> you are more than your orders. There is, there has to be another way. Is that you, Flux? Yeah, that's him. All right, so uh, everybody that I mentioned before, Fenris, Mariam, <laughs> Quintus, yeah. Uh, Mariam, I assume you're doing the do. <laughs> you're hanging on to Orbis. Uh, <laughs> Orbis, are you moving um, towards them, or what are you doing? Yeah, unless we know they're there, because I don't know if we could even... I don't, from where you right, are, given the, si the, the scale of the sun keep, you wouldn't have an angle to see down to there because the whole sun keep is between you and there. Like, you'd have to willingly go to the other side of the sun keep and look over into the forest. Mm. Are you talking to me? Or him? Him. Oh, oh wait, are we, are we talking about him? I don't to see where I'm going. Yeah, well, my main point is how, like... Are, yeah, because we were on the top, right? Yeah. But I, I suppose my point is, why are you going there? Yeah. Well, if there's fire, it would be the one thing. You but if I, if I can't see it, You wouldn't see good. that either. Then yeah, I'm popping my lips. Orbis, what are you doing? Uh, I'm getting slightly closer within 600 feet of it. Okay. Uh, of the thing. <laughs> I only have to get like 35 feet closer <laughs> to it. You would also probably want to get up a bit because that church, I think, is yeah. almost entirely within your, within your yeah. Room. Cool. All right, yeah. show me where you're moving. Uh, let's see. Um like legs dangling behind me i'll go like up diagonally as right. well like 40 and 40 over 40 up uh, i believe that's within the range there's the little there it is yeah all right uh, i'm gonna use enhanced targeting as well <laughs> I couldn't even find you on the map. I had to like look around for yeah. you. Yeah, dude, right? <laughs> Super zooms in from within the cockpit at my target. In hand. I can't I'm hear kind of loving what they're saying, but I'll be honest, in danger. <laughs> I'm kind of loving using this map. Mm. This is this is fun. <laughs> it's cool. Same. And. Oh. Uh, that's, that's a miss as a <laughs> right. giant arc of light flies by and cuts down a tree you see the imperator look over towards it looks up towards avi and then looks into the distance at the dgr unit firing and you see their hand go down and they like as if tired rest the great sword on the ground not that you can see much of that from where you are yeah uh i do it again <laughs> all right <laughs> there are civilians what civilians? Before you I roll. Before you roll. <laughs> as another arc is charged and prepared to be fired. Flux, you see them look up in the direction of Orbis, turn, their head cocks up towards where you are in the sky. We're not following this path because of our programming. We're following it because it's the right thing to do. Navigator! He drops the great sword and puts his arms out. Lead our kind back into the light! Please! Roll damage. <laughs> That's <not> as, good. <laughs> as an arc of light careens with them, there is a blast of light where they stand. And when the smoke from this impact clears, there is naught but a trail of debris behind where they were. I got him! <laughs> <laughs> hey, good job! 
<laughs> Flux just wide-eyed, traumatized. <laughs> oh. oh my god! <laughs> It was me! I got it! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> kind of looked like you, though. It was weird, huh? Hey, am I still <laughs> stuck in this? Uh, they appear to still be there and appear to briefly still be active, at least, yeah. Uh, fuck me. Are we still in turn order? No. Actually, <laughs> as you process that, uh, Flux... Uh, Vogan. Yeah. Everything inside of the DGR, the visual mm -hmm. simulation that you're seeing, it goes blank. Uh-oh. You see everything fade out, and the mechanical elements of the DGR's cockpit seem to, like, reassert themselves and reappear. Outside, Quintus! You notice mm -hmm. that the entire thing seems to have gone kind of gray as its body... Uh, loses its bluish coloration, you start to hear the sound of bending metal, and while you're grappling onto it, the DGR uh. shifts, its uh -huh. left arm entirely detonates and is destroyed uh, below the elbow, ah. and as it is, you see it retake the form that it had before it junctioned, as it returns to being just a Sajuta unit. The lights on it begin to flicker, it sputters for a second as its wings seem to want to go out, but it almost, you see its remaining hand grip and it forces itself to remain conscious as it slowly lowers down to within 10, 15 feet of the ground. And then the rest of the way seems to give out, its body goes a dull gray and it falls, colliding with the ground. As it was, as it was like, as it was like holding arms, like patting it, like, it's okay, buddy, it's all right. Oh! <laughs> As it, it's like while that was happening, Vogan is inside tapping and in, tapping the walls inside. It's like, you okay, buddy? I'm sorry about what I said. You You're see, cool. Vogan, as it hits the ground, you see in the darkness inside, one of those arcane screens comes up again. You see what looks like the heads of three different units draw themselves on a screen in front of you. One of them you recognize as being the knight-like uh, helmet of the... Excalibur unit. The other ones, one has a somewhat draconic shape to it, and the third one has more of a dome-like shape to it with fewer details, and you just see in text in a language you don't understand that shifts and then becomes common, just help them appear, then fades, then there is a mm. as the cockpit of this thing opens, not entirely, but as much as it can, giving you just enough wiggle room to get out as the unit loses life on the ground. All right, give it a little pat. Good job, bud. And I squeeze myself out. Ugh. Ugh. Quinn, did you see that? I, I felt it! <laughs> that was so cool! I couldn't move! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. So cool! <laughs> right? So cool! Uh, where we is should, everyone? Over there. We should, we should, uh, yeah. Ah, uh, point. Sure. I go uh, over and just start, just lift him up by his, by his, un, by his underarms and start <laughs> flying. <laughs> Avi, you see the, um, the, the markers, the, the javelins that are pierced into the ground around you. After a couple of seconds of that thing being gone, they seem to compact into themselves, shift down, and lose color. Huh. Logan. Yeah. Logan, I'm still a huge creature. I'm <laughs> sorry, Logan. <laughs> That's this, very rude. This is just how you live now. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm so big. <laughs> I am now Sunder. <laughs> there we go. Um, Avi's going to look up to Flux, just... I'll be with you in just a moment, okay? 
and she's going to dart off into the forest and just start looking for the Nephilim that she was with, just trying to find them and see if they are alive. They are. You managed to get them together. With the crisis passed, uh, just for the sake of delineation, they slowly opt to try to head back towards the lesser church to briefly find shelter there. Okay. Uh, she would agree to that and just make sure that they're, you know, not, they're as unscathed as possible and then make her way back to Flux. I think Flux has, has landed and is just like kind of despondently staring at the bodies. <laughs> I wouldn't have killed them if I didn't have to. Uh, oh, uh, no, of, of, of course, I would, I would never blame you for that. We, they would have done the same to you. What, what they said to you, I suppose you're this navigator you've heard about? It would... It would seem so. <clears throat> Wish I... better understood. Are we... Are we really doing the right thing by fighting them? I'm questioning that too. And there's a su suggestion I'm about to make that's going to be questionable. If you ever decided you wanted to ask Diane for answers, I wouldn't hold it against you. I... I appreciate that. But... There has to be another way. There has to be a way to... The Nephilim and the... And the frame belt go free without letting Diane destroy everything. I have another idea. There's that, their well of records, yeah? Yes. Well, there were a group of Nephilim going to retrieve Calites. So assuming we can deal with these proto-DGRs, then, then we get whatever information we can out of Calites and from their secret well as well. And I think when it comes to this, you need to be making the calls. This pertains to you more than anyone else. This is your fight, your life. Oh, that is, that is a lot. I, let, let me be clear, Javi, I cannot express how grateful I am to you and the others for cajoling me into believing that I am a person and not just a tool. But I will say things were a lot simpler when I believed otherwise. Maybe that is selfish of me. Maybe, but it is understandable. I will... I will not let myself wallow in this. I will... I will do what I must. There's far too much at stake 
for me to for me to quibble over my part in this. Flux. Roll yeah. me a perception check. Oh. In your peripheral vision, you briefly catch a light flicker of something that has a bluish tinge to it, and somber as the moment is, you don't snap your head to it instinctively, but when you turn over towards it, you briefly catch this uh, almost holographic, and by holographic I mean like a hologram, think like Cortana from Halo, uh, figure standing past the tree line in the darkness of the trees. They appear to have a mantle made of something like a like an energy rushing past it. A very large collar that seems to be made of a scarf that is uh, of a material that's hard to discern. What they are, the only thing that you can really tell of them is their head shape. As whatever this thing is in the forest that's about humanoid in size, un uncannily still. Uh, it has this pseudo-draconic face with two very lifelike eyes that you can tell are still born from lights in the side of its head, similar to your eyes, but have a, a strange sort of realism to them that is uncommon. This, this bluish holographic individual seems to be completely still, staring from the tree lines towards you, and as you see them, there's no sense of urgency. There's no sense of... It's like fear, but they fade away slowly after making eye contact with you, and you are left with a feeling of familiarity, of mystery, of anxiety, but oddly, of reassurance. Mom. What is it? There was someone over there, or an image of someone. They're they're gone now. But I don't know. It, they seemed somehow familiar. Just one more question that needs an answer, it seems. <sighs> but there's no time to lose. If yeah. Excalibur is active, then the others could awaken any moment. We need to be on the move. Agreed. Um, Avi is going to, are they like the spears that like collapsed in on themselves? Are they still just kind of like on the ground? Or are they yeah, just, they would effectively right. work as javelins, but since you don't know how to like activate their mechanism, you imagine it'd be hard to use them. She's still going to collect them. Okay. Take all four. With that, since we are at four hours, but that combat ended and everybody recollecting themselves, getting back to where they are with the dust settling in the city with a large chunk of the <laughs> northwestern city uh, kind of broken apart with rubble, with the Nephilim returning, with the chaos ended. Four markers destroyed, but enough remaining that the spoliation is not an issue. And with the Sagitta unit laying dormant near the center of the city, having performed what duty it could to try to stop Excalibur from wreaking complete havoc on the town, we're going to zoom out from there. And we're going to return to it next week. And I'm, and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit off screen, especially because I know that Izzy, you won't be with us next week, right? Yeah, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll Got talk to you. Shit. Flux has some things to think about, so I'm sure that we can steer into that. Uh, I'd like to talk with everybody about, because I know we have a split up in the groups coming soon. I think it'd be mm -hmm. good to talk outside game of like how we maybe just want to handle that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... Here. And then maybe the Kitty, action. I need a new horse. <laughs> <laughs> but before I get to that, oh, for no. those of you that experience still applies to. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, but I Yay. could level it. Uh, come on! Everyone gains 2,400. I'll take it. 
It's not enough, but I'll take it. Yay. <laughs> 10,000 of that being because you stopped Excalibur from destroying more than four markers. Oh, hell Hooray. yeah. Nice. All right. Uh, so 1,278 away. Oh, no. Yep. It's always, there's always a Miriam uh, notification. Yep. There's always a Miriam. Yeah, there's Miriam. You know he's what? so far away from 50. <laughs> because yeah. he's him. Is there like him. something in your settings that makes it say that for you, I wonder? No, he's just wonderful. So weird. He's the man who melts ice. Keep in mind, the only people Very that nice. ma experience matters to right now are Sunder, Vogan, Quintus, Lexi. Everybody else. Oh, so we yeah. can have all of their experience. Oh. Everybody else. Oh, <laughs> that's you know, amazing. And you know what? Actually, for the purposes of what we're doing, uh, that was a pretty big fight. That was a pretty big thing. I'm going to say uh, those who are still gaining levels, why don't we just go ahead and milestone you guys up to... <gasps> not, not every, hold on, not everybody. Not everybody. Just to make me very clear. The 14ers, not you. Well, I was I was wooing yeah. for the people okay. getting okay. levels. Okay, I just want to be clear. Yeah. That's what I was wooing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for your support. So yeah. we did it. Lexi. The 69ers, we fucking did it. <laughs> Lexi, Quintus, and Vogan, you guys will gain a level, which means we that Quintus and Sunder also, right. which means Quintus okay, cool. and Sunder are the only people that experience will matter to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But yeah, Holy shit. Oh, that was a very, at least for me, I hope it was for you guys, that I'm was a very yeah. fun game. That was fun, yeah. I'm decently sure Quinn brings not. Vogan to the front of the Sun Keep and then just falls over onto the grass, like, I'll Brr. just be here. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. By the way, I forgot to Poor put boy. it onto the list, but we got another $100 patron for Project Mouthwash. Ooh, and I should have added them to the back plate, but since <clears> I didn't, I'm just going to say their name instead. Uh, Name. Pro provided they haven't oh. removed their their thing, which I hope Name. they do. Oh, I get my I get my fucking saint weapon. Mark. <gasps> oh. Thanks, Mark. You did it. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, Mark. I appreciate you, Mark. Thanks, Mark. I saw that notey this morning. <laughs> Imagine that you're where Saradin is, because Saradin had to go down to fifty. So, Mark, thanks. Thanks, Mark. Yeah. I'm sorry, Arcane. I don't know what to tell you. It's maybe oh, look at all them subs. Oh. Gosh. I, I get my Saint Weapon bond. You do! Ah. Let's go! <laughs> oh, hi, Mark. Oh, oh right. this is now, gonna this is a fucking game changer. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> That's a different series. Yeah. <laughs> my Saint Weapon's been here the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. It's true. <laughs> Alright. Uh Everybody remember the usual things. Go check out the website. Go check out the Patreon. Uh, go buy merch from the website. Hayden, make Hayden send out a whole bunch more boxes. Um, I watched <laughs> them get picked up while while we were playing. I, Good. My, my phone camera was like, hey, people at the door have taken your packages, but it's the people who are supposed to. <laughs> nice. Uh, cool. Good. Yeah. Oh, Kumo, I saw the art. I just... I didn't comment because because we're in game by side. I just burnt. What? And with that, I think I'm gonna end the recording. So goodbye, people at home. We will see you. YouTube. We'll see you next week. Uh, see ya. See you then for more shenanigans with fewer robots. I'm afraid for now. Boo! Oh. All right. Tune into the weekday streams yeah. and tune in on Thursday. Wait a minute. Fewer robots right one. now means probably more dinosaurs. Oh, <laughs> yeah! What a good place we're in. <laughs> what? Uh <-huh. laughs> this is insane. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.